Booyah! Hey! Hello! How you two doing? Great! We got to share this out, though. I just did a few little shares. Um, so. Well, I'm still waiting on the notification on my phone. Yeah, me too, actually. Well, I'm just better than y'all. Let's just let's just admit yeah, it. it is. better. I don't think we'll go that far just yet. <laughs> Okay. I might have a few interruptions coming and going. If I do, I'll go off screen if I have too many. Okay. So for for those of you um, who have just joined us, uh, Nick is not with us at the moment. Today is his sister's birthday. And... They are having a little bit of a dinner and celebration that Eileen was not invited to. Um, <laughs> I didn't even get my cup still. I wouldn't know why. Um, so Nick said that he would be coming on a, a little late. He said only about 15, 20 minutes late. But, you know, being, being his sister's birthday, I don't think I would blame him if he didn't show up at all. Um, but we shall see. We shall see. Meanwhile, um, share, 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 everybody. Um, so we don't have a guest this week. Uh, so tonight we're just going to kind of like wing it. We have like a starting topic that I do believe that Adrian is going to start us off with. Yeah. So, we're going to discuss, Wayne, hey, uh, Brad, hi, Don, okay, who's Facebook user? Come on. So, <laughs> we're going to discuss retrograde. It is over today. Are you sure he's not getting married to Sam Richard? What? I missed all that. I don't know what's going on there. S Samaria is the girl that climbs out of the well in the ring. The movie, The Ring. I'm worried. So, okay. Today is the end of it. Retrograde. Thank you. Gosh. No, it's not. Um, it's kind of like the rain, you know, soaks the ground. It's going to take a while to dry up. It's going to take a while to go away. But... Some of the things I've seen about this, this happens three or four times a year. Mercury stops moving. So they say it starts going backwards. It looks like it does. It really doesn't. It just kind of stops there. So now it's starting to move forward through the degrees of Zodiac. Okay. So that means with this one, all things with communication slow down. So if you're having arguments with people, blame it on that. If you're having trouble making decisions, blame it on that. Like so in the last couple of weeks? Yeah, yeah. So what we're supposed to do is slow down. Not make any decisions, not anything crazy, but we are supposed to look backwards. Um, if some old friends, old boyfriends come back into the picture, be careful with it, but Ryan. acknowledge it. <laughs> acknowledge it. Don't make decisions. Um, friends from the past could come back. That's that's one of the big things that happens. Hey, Rosie, Denise. Hello. Hi, everyone. Well, you, you know what, Adrian, with that being said, that certainly would explain a few things that's been going on these last few weeks. It would. Um, this is uh, known for chaos. So if you're wanting to go, you know, kind of look in your past instead of your future, look at albums, um, old pictures. Don't go connect with anybody. Not right now. <laughs> it's not the time to do it. Um, June 3rd, tomorrow, uh, Planet of Communication will station in Taurus. 
I don't know how many of the rest of y'all are bullheaded. I'm a Taurus. Um, it says the vibe is not going to be positive. Yeah, I know. Surprise, surprise, right? That I'm bullheaded. Uh-huh. Um, well, actually, I was raising my mm -hmm. hands guilty. Mm -hmm. um, it's going to be intense. And it's going to be locked in a square with Saturn in Aquarius. Now, what that means exactly, I have no idea. But um, it goes into retro the next day. Both planets are supercharged. Conversations regarding authority, career, and negotiation are going to be more intense. Stay away from them. Um, negative thoughts. It says you can accomplish anything if you can keep the negative thoughts away. It's kind of hard to do with all this going on. Um, yeah. Keep track of what you can change and take advantage of it. What? I'm a Leo and stubborn as hell. Brad, I don't know. I, I think I give you a run for your money. I, I, I do believe a Taurus is a little more stubborn. Or bullheaded. Brad, Denise says she's a Capricorn. Morning. I know Adrian on a personal level. You got nothing on this woman. <laughs> Denise said the same thing, but she's a Capricorn, and I do believe she's stubborn as hell. <laughs> Capricorn. There's there's something else too that I don't know the whole deal on Capricorn. Um, I'm sure she can tell us. But I mean, yeah. she has to be stubborn to deal with Ernie. <laughs> I, I don't know that stubborn is the word for her. I'm being nice. No, um, I think she's just won't settle and she knows what she wants and she's going to get it. I don't think that's stubborn. I think that's being knowing who you are. There you go, Denise. That's yeah. exactly what well, I was here's trying the thing. to so, say. So we, take, we take Denise and her stubbornness. And we put it up against Ernie and his love for biscuits. So, you know. Bossy. Okay. Yeah. I'll go with that. She's bossy. Okay. And that's uh, why I love you. Brad, my wife would beg to differ. I'm sure she would. And I'm sure all wives would. Um, wives don't count. <laughs> we have a, a little different word for our husbands that are not quite submissive but we'll leave that word out of here for now and right now i am so glad i am not one <laughs> <laughs> biscuits always win ernie just got a homemade cheesecake denise did you do that for him or did someone else because if you did that's uh see th there's a back and forth there that that actually works I can't wait to meet those good see those goofballs again. I wish they'd be with me on the 25th, but no, nope, they had to get it. She did it. So see, there's a back and forth there. That's awesome. That that's what you're supposed to do. But one of the interesting things I found on retrograde was you're supposed to like take a weighted blanket, which is supposed to be like comfort and like somebody holding you so you can release all the tension. I guess if you don't have somebody holding you, you, you can do that. Um, or if you're not comfortable releasing tension with the one you're with, which probably means to be with them. But that, that's a whole different story we won't get into. Jeremy, are you sharing? I'm still sharing this thing out. <laughs> I'm, I'm, sharing, I'm sharing a little bit more than I usually do now that I got that damn restriction off of me. Uh, yeah. Um, here comes the restriction again. <laughs> yeah. Well, he, he, here's the thing. The, the restriction was actually on invites. And so far, I had not really been hit on Sharon. So this time I'm going to push it tonight. Because what I want to do is for, for the ones that decline to share, I can just leave those groups. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, if we share all their stuff, there's no reason for that. Exactly. <clears throat> Denise saying she can't come on the 25th because she has to 
go to work? I mean, who needs a job? Who needs money? Come on. Um, that'd be me. Um. <laughs> well, she got me stuck with Todd. Thankfully, Leanne will be there, so that'll be good. Todd is awesome. Oh, is uh, Shannon going to be able to be there? Yeah, it's going to be Shannon, Ray, Beth, me, Todd, and Leanne. That's and awesome. And then Tiffany, I think, is going to be there. That's awesome. Now, which month is this? This month, the 25th this of this month. Oh, please, please, please don't send Ernie. <laughs> Hell yeah, send him. I want to see this. They don't have they don't have continental breakfast in the morning with biscuits. John, on the twenty fifth, I will just have got just have gotten back home from New York because I will be in Salamanca on the twenty third and coming back home on the twenty fourth, and my birthday is on the twenty sixth. Well, happy early birthday! Thank you. And now Ernie's threatening to come. Let's go. I'm, I'm, I'm going to take my gun if no one's saying anything. <laughs> okay. I'll take my EAD stone and it'll keep Ernie away. <laughs> if, if you want to keep Ernie away, just tell him there's a no biscuit zone. No biscuits or cheesecakes. There you go. So what have you seen kind of working differently with you, Adrian, since retrograde started? You do tend to um, kind of go backwards and look back. Um, you just have to remember looking back is not always the answer. That is true. Um, but, you know, sometimes it is. Sometimes you can see the mistakes you've made and not repeat them. Um, Sometimes you can uh, realize that somebody else was just an asshole and probably shouldn't even mess with them. And sometimes you might find a long lost love that you should be with. Mm -hmm. That's, very right? <laughs> That's very true. So I try not to judge too much and I try not to, you know, I don't, until I hear people talking about it. Hi, Don. Um, Hello. I mean, retrograde. Um, I know what I'm thinking. I know what I'm feeling, and I know it's weird. So whatever. It, it's time to fix this. Um, energy workers, light workers. Um, we go into this up, up, down, up, down. So it, it's retrograde. Really doesn't. Uh, it affects us, but not to that extent. We're like, okay, what is it now? Who's done what to us now? It's like I can always, things are just not, nothing, it's like nothing goes as planned. And then I'll go look it up. I'm like, oh, we're in retrograde. Right? It's like nothing goes as planned. Yep. Yeah, I, uh, I don't like that. I mean, I'm very spontaneous, but I also don't like to sit at home on weekends. I don't like that. Um. I'm going to be out doing something. I don't care what it is, but I'm not sitting at home where I look at these four walls eight hours a day at work. Nope. That's right. Cause you work from home too, don't you? Yeah. My bedroom is my office. Gotcha. Yep. <laughs> I do not want to spend 16 hours a day in there. No. See, I haven't even really been to my house that I actually have my bed in. Since I left there this morning. Dawn, as cancer and an empath, it was crazy. Up and downs, but I do a lot of healing. Yeah, right. And, and that's exactly what it's for. Um, empath, light worker, energy worker. You may as well just be in a tailspin. You have to figure out how to ground. You have to figure out how to fix it. And sometimes you can't fix it yourself. It, you really do depend on others who know what you're talking about. 
Oh gosh, we got Denise and Ernie up in this joint. <laughs> hey, I reached the end of my list. I I'm done swimming now. Yeah, I'm glad you're you know, starting to feel better and everything, Denise. Who's the hooker? There ain't no telling with Ernie because I know if he's calling Denise the hooker, then um, he's not going to have a place to sleep much longer. And Family about me. <laughs> mm -mm. tour. Oh, oh, I want to go. When is it? <laughs> oh, <laughs> sorry. I think I just showed my age, but I want to go. Um, what? Oh. He is a good one. You unlocked the group ambassador badge in such and such group. A group I have never participated in. Has okay. anybody else been getting those things where you're getting all these badges for these groups for being such a great member? And you look at this group and it's like, I haven't done a damn thing with this thing. Yep. I think people are starting to turn their badges on more than they used to. Like the, where people can start getting the badges. They might, but when you've never done anything but maybe share a show. Shouldn't be getting a badge. Not even that. Yeah, that's what I've gotten badges for. Adrian said her bits in a row. It's just like, but you're the hooker. That's all right. I'll take it. <laughs> Before I get too old to be called anything like that, I'll take it. Yeah, me, I can't really speak on this whole job thing because I kind of have one, kind of don't. <laughs> You have one waiting. It's just a matter of uh, you may get there someday. If I get back there. Right. Um, I actually ran into a co-worker yesterday at Walmart. And he said that people are still talking about that accident. <clears throat> um, and he, he even told me that I should never have to go back to work again. I'm like, well, it'd be nice, but I'm not going to be expecting it. Oh, okay. Ernie said that admin helper crap that Facebook turns on. Okay. Denise, private message me. If you go on the cruise, we need a we need to hook up and go. She don't want you going on the cruise with her. Stop it. It's the NKOTB cruise. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know they were still around. Oh yeah, I they didn't know that too. Like I got the new album. I'm you know new kids on the block. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Oh, good God. Aren't they dead? I mean, like. <laughs> no. Well, two of them are actors. Are, are they walking with canes right about now? I mean. No, they're okay. in their 40s, I Can think. Can share, Denise? 40s? They were my age. I know they're not. Well, they might be 40s, but not early. Well, wait. When when did they come out? Was well, that the. Question. 90s? Uh, hold on. Well, I can't look it up. My phone's charging. Oh, I can. Yes, he is. He he, he is, Denise. He has some blue bloods. The, the, only, the only two that I know are Mark Wahlberg and Donnie Wahlberg. Oh, see, Mark, Mark was never in. Okay, in a, he was in he okay 87, okay. guys. 87. I knew it was early 90s, late 80s, something like that. Okay, so Ooh, they came out 35 in years ago. How old were they when they came out in 87? They were young. They were our age. I mean, they're, they're about my age, if not a little bit older. Mm. But I'm, think of it this way. If they came out at the age of 20, they're all at least 55. Right. I think they did come out a little earlier than 20, though. Yeah, because I because I just saw the newest Mark Wahlberg movie. Okay, John, and he doesn't look he doesn't look that old. I get it, early fifties. Okay, because I knew they were pretty much my age um, when they came out, and everybody had the posters of them up on their wall. I whatever. Oh, um, my husband kicked him out of Spencer's one year when they were in town for their concert. I got in the newspaper for it. I was like, I had that frame forever. I had, the, man, I had the dolls. I had the the bedspread. I had, you name it, I had it. The big old pins. Did you 
like were you in the era of kirk cameron well yeah but you know not anymore i don't even know if, what he's doing anymore but you know, see i was that age we'll leave it at that but uh i was into the older men so um yeah little house on the prairie the daddy yeah that was my crush <laughs> I is didn't know, like Michael, J. Fox, yes. is it Michael Landon. Michael Landon. See, I'm with Denise. I had Michael J. Fox. Yeah. I couldn't do Michael J. Fox. Mm -mm. Nope. Now, I like him now just because of I know what he's been through. I know what he had to actually act through. Um, and he was very open with it. So I like him real well. Um from, okay. from what I understand, he, he won't even take um medicines for it yeah. to try to calm him down that's what i heard at one point i don't know i haven't kept up with any of that recently yeah well there's a lot of old bands i can't remember which ones are coming to town um and we were talking about going but i want to say maybe it was poison and some other people but it's kind of scary i don't really want to go sometimes because i don't want to ruin yep what you memories do. of them like i mean like skid row and things like that I, you know i just if it doesn't sound the same, it's going to kind of ruin some things for me. But new kids on the block still sound good. Uh, yeah. Um, wait till you see them. That's going to ruin everything for you. Back, Back to the Future is such a fun series to watch. We really got off of it. <laughs> I met all of them a few times. Great guys. Who? Who, Don? Probably, let's see. Where's that one? Probably talking about new kids on the block. But you did say in retrograde, you do reflect on your past. So there, we are still talking about retrograde. <laughs> but we do want to uh, reflect on the past and leave it there and, and not revisit it and go, oh, holy hell, what was I looking at back then? Because this ain't them. Who is, uh, God, the, the famous family now, um, the guy can't talk for shit because he's so damn messed up. He, Ozzy he makes, Osbourne? Yes. He makes okay. no sense. But he used to rip some heads off some rats with his teeth. Look at him now. He ain't got no teeth. I, I, I'll tell you what. Ozzy is one of those few people where you can't understand a damn word that he says when he's talking. But when he is singing, to me, he's crystal clear. Does he sing anymore at all? Um... I don't think he has in years. I don't know. Oh, I, I was told yes, he does. Yeah. Oh, because he goes, was he at does he go to Ozfest too? Was he at Ozfest with when Brandon was there? I Sorry, saw I the head off the bat. Yes, Ken. That's what I remember. <laughs> How we got the crown. Oh god. Um <laughs> I, I do know he's a lot okay. I, I'm gonna stop right there before we get political. He can't make a sentence. The dude can't make a sentence. He doesn't know who his wife is about half the time. Bless her heart, she takes care of him like, like she always has. Um, I think the world of her. The kids, they have a lot of respect. Well, the boy. I don't know about the girl anymore. But the boy has a lot of respect for his dad. The, the only thing about the daughter, and I can't even remember her name. Um, the only thing about the daughter is that I know that she did get into music for a little bit, but I've only seen her do one song, and that was a Madonna song, Papa Don't Preach. Right. Uh, Joanne, oh, I'm well aware that the boys yeah, do. Didn't, didn't. I've talked to him, and um, he, he, he is also well aware of his father. Um, he pulls no punches with that. Um, he's actually a very down to earth guy. Um, Osborne's one to believe. Um, that's what I actually talked to him about. Um, he was doing a small series with uh, the brothers. Um, somebody tell me who they uh, were. The uh, Ghost Brothers. Yes. Um, he was doing a series with those, and that's what we were discussing. Um, I haven't seen much on the Ghost Brothers anymore. Here recently. I like them. I do too. Uh, I do too. Um, 
and all that. I have never seen any of these guys in action. None of them. I've uh, only the heard of about them in Boston. I have with the Gus Brothers, and the funny thing, there, there's actually another couple, and uh, he's he's a black man, and a white wife amazing i love these people and i can't think of their names but they'll go out they'll go out on a ghost hunt and the funniest thing i ever heard this man say he says you know what this is fucking bullshit he said do you ever see a black man out here in the forest do you know why i'll tell you why right here's why i'm gone and he come back and it was this was on youtube they have a youtube channel and he come back and he said is not what we do he said mm -mm, i'll go in the building all you want me to i'm not going in the forest and he started talking about some kind of fairies and, and some different um different animals and stuff and he's like mm -mm, we were told these stories younger we're not doing this um uh, my son just looked it up ozzy um played his last performance was january 2022. wow i'd like to see that one Man, he has got to be old now. Oh, he, he is. They oh, came out in the 60s, didn't they? Denise filmed with Jack. That's so awesome. Did you like him? I think she's like, up there. It's either her or um, Ernie like, says he's very quiet and reserved. I talked to him, not like face to face. Was he like really nice? He's very quiet and reserved. Okay. Google Ozzy and Luciano. Okay. You know, I've got the weirdest person. Yeah. Didn't, person that didn't Ozzy join him on an investigation? I think that I think the family, there was something that was blending the family with it. I don't remember the mom or the sister, but I do remember Ozzy being involved. And Something he said stood out and I can't remember what it was, but there was like, I caught a glimpse of it and he said something that was just like, whoa, he's making sense for a minute. And then it was like vanished. I mean, it was, it was fleeting. You know, right? If I had to yeah. pick, if I had picked someone that's been on television doing paranormal, there's one person I would love to investigate with. And it sounds so funny, but Rob Lowe. Okay. Yeah. I really, I don't know. It's just something about his enthusiasm with it. That's who I would want to do it. Him and his That's boy. Right. He did do something. Did I remember that Jake now? Johnny abandoned amusement park. Okay. I'm going to have to look that one up. Him and her has a few, the ship that is docked somewhere. Joanne, explain that a little bit. Now, Joanne, I, I don't know how many of y'all have seen she's uh she's actually followed almost all of us on all of our shows um she's a real sweetheart there's some things we've gotten to actually know about her um i, I really like her I i'm having to agree with dawn down here <laughs> maybe that's why <laughs> yeah i'm gonna have to watch it too um and he's pretty oh, okay okay rob Lowe. i was like what what <laughs> It was pretty. Let's, let's, you okay? Um, you know, kind, investigated it, ship. it kind of ties in with this subject, but it, it, it doesn't. But it was something I wanted to bring up when last week when we were talking about music. Um, they were, I found out on the internet that there were a number of bands who had recorded albums in haunted houses. Really? Uh, Foo Fighters. Did they when, know? Uh, I I think they found out after they recorded the album that oh. it was a, a haunted house. Um, and I, I want to say that the Rolling Stones did too, but I don't know. That's something we will have to look up. For my country music enthusiasts, Am I remembering it right? But during when Alan Jackson was filming um, Midnight in Montgomery, they were having problems near Hank Williams Sr.'s grave. They were. Because they had to keep redoing it. And he knew. He knew exactly yeah. what happened. Mm -hmm. And that was why 
and he put that out with the song. Mm -hmm. So that was why it was so popular. Black Sabbath, they were one of them. Huh, I didn't know that. Yeah, um, Sabbath, Bloody Sabbath, 1973. It was recorded at Clearwell Castle in England. Okay. Okay. Carl, how you doing? Hey, and Carl. Garth Brooks would never make it out of the me. building. If oh, you you know with it. That's where I'm going to stop and pretend I never saw that name. Uh, <clears throat> well, hey, Carl, I'm still waiting on those numbers. Um, Meatloaf. Meatloaf paranormal because you know I've got a lot of friends he's I've got some friends he's investigated with and he loved the paranormal loved it yeah and we just lost him too recently yeah yes. Denise if you really want to do that I know his mom and dad um I can talk to him I don't know, Denise, that she's going to be sitting there get, having you get addresses. And, you know what? And poor gonna, but, not, Denise, Garth is a nice guy. Oh, God. Okay, we had different experiences, and I'll, I'm going to leave that at that. <laughs> Denise, apparently you didn't watch the show last week. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm going to, no, no, I've said my piece about it. I'm, I'm going to be nice. Um, nope. Mm -mm. We're gonna leave that right there. But but yeah, there, there were there were several bands who who recorded albums um, in haunted houses, and I'm looking at head, headline right now that apparently was in Rolling Stone magazine how Ghost nearly ruined the Foo Fighters' tenth album. Denise, that's awesome that he was good with you. It is. I'm assuming Pac-Man is um, Ernie now, but he said Blackstone Jerry. Um, filmed their blind man video at Waverly. Oh, cool. Uh, Facebook user. Hi. Who are you? Uh, that, that's going to bring up this next banner right here. Please go to streamyard.com slash Facebook and give them your permission to display your name. Please don't. See, I've noticed sometimes if you go to someone's direct page to um, through StreamYard, it no matter what you do, will not show up your your name now. I mean, I, I, how many times am I on StreamYard and all of a sudden sometimes mine won't pop up? Denise, really? That's awesome. You stalker, you. Um, except his home was in Tulsa. Well, y'all know um, Little Texas. Do y'all know Little Texas? Mm -hmm. So um, I've been trying, and he's almost on board. Him and his girlfriend are almost on board, but or were almost on board. I had to talk to him. And, and is that who Facebook mind. user is? But, okay, that must be who it is. But um, really? Brady Seals, I've been trying to get him to go on an investigation with me. But his girlfriend wants to so bad, but I think they kind of chickened out last time I asked. <laughs> There's actually quite a few. I guess you call them famous people. Um, some of them, he lived in Goodlet. Okay. Um, Goodlettsville. Okay. I'm not sure where that is. I lived in Benita, and his mom and dad lived in Tulsa, which was less than an hour away. Um, he's, uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, his mom and dad are awesome people. Uh oh, I'll say that. Um, <laughs> I've heard this story. <laughs> no, I, I'm being really good. I, I really am. Um, she is. She really is. Yeah, home to both. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Um, was it all just okay. wait before you go to Waverly? That's the only suggestion I'm gonna give you. Just, just wait a little while. Um, his mom. Hey, yeah. You got a shout out. Did you yeah, know him heart. with his first wife or his second? At what time did you meet him there? This that might a make a huge difference. I only knew him with his first wife. Patsy? Pasty? What? 1997, so that would have been... 
Okay. Ooh, that would have been borderline, wouldn't it? Or would it, it be? It would. And that was about, no, I met okay, him in 95. One. 95, 96. He was having dinner in my hometown. I waited at his table. That's, yeah. <laughs> gotcha. um, so, um, I perform on stage in a hotel here in the Netherlands. It's all prison before, so now you tell some bands play also haunted. So when you play, do you so you know it's haunted, right? So do you feel anything? Do you hear anything? Good God. Somebody's mowing their lawn. <laughs> What time? Oh, never mind. So what time is it there? I forget you're behind me. You know, the thing that the thing that I've always wondered about is that for these bands that are recording in haunted houses, I just wonder, like say for when when they're doing the tracking to record the vocals and the the track that has vocals only, mm -hmm. do they ever catch EVPs when they're oh, doing yeah. that? That's interesting. Yeah. I knew where you were going with that. I wonder if if sometimes if you can, like, it's different spots. If you really listen, could you hear them? If you just paid attention to the background instead of the forefront. Yeah. Because I know that with um, when when you're doing the tracking with the music, it would be really hard to, to catch an EVP, but it wouldn't be so hard for vocals. Right. And it'd be real easy to, you know, delete it, get out of there, move on. But um, now a lot of times when they're recording their videos, though, aren't they? They're, they're not really singing and playing the music. They just dub it over, don't they? Or I mean, back in the old days, I don't know about now. but Yeah, they did it in the studio and then they would go. Yeah. Do it. Yeah. Acoustic should pick it up. Yeah, it, it depends on how they're doing it now. I, I really don't know anymore either. Um, I'm showing my age. So back in the day, they used to record the entire song in, in just one take, or or they would do it over and over and over with the entire band. Now they do it all individually. You bring in the drums, let them do their thing. Then you bring in the guitars, let them do theirs. Um, sometimes you you'll get two or three of them together and do it together. But I think most of them all do it individually now. Okay. So uh, Pascal here is not from United States. No, he's so, from the Netherlands. So let's find out. Um, how do you guys do it? Do you do it on location and perform the video at the same time? Or do you do it in a studio and then perform the video later? Somebody wanted to make an appearance, I think. Oh, I have that bees. What's his name? Bear. Bear. Look at that bees. Mama, you're not paying attention. Uh, that's what I got now, my son out there for. Now we just need a lion and a tiger. <laughs> no, I think we're good. <laughs> don't, don't give my family any, any ideas because we're already looking at foxes and... <laughs> <coughs> I can see that with you, Eileen. I need a farm. Cute. Thank you. Joshua, you come up with some shit, dude. He's our he's our little rescue. He was being abused and so we rescued him. I don't know. Now just couldn't tell it. Yeah, it's not a You told anymore. me about him before. I remember that now. Yeah, we were on um you know, we got that lost and found on Facebook and we gave and someone gave the owners time to try to get it. So we took him to the vet to see if he was um, if he was um, chipped. And the vet even said if he was or someone at the vet, said if he was chipped, they were going to call the police because he had a big scar over his eye. He mm -hmm. walked with his tail between his legs. But now he's. Yeah. The first well, wasn't he also really skinny, too. Yeah, he was. He's supposed to be about 80 pounds. And I think he was right at 60 something. I hope whoever did that that happens to them. Yeah, but he I mean trust me, he this it was probably the, no offense the best thing for him because he is full rotten. Yeah. 
Uh, how long did it take him to come around to you guys? Uh, 24 hours. <laughs> now, really? he still doesn't like other people too much. There's a certain build of a guy that scares him. But, no, nah, I mean, I don't even have to have – I mean, we do have him on a leash because of what what he is. But um, but we don't even have to leash him. He, he does not leave our side. If we go out for a walk, if someone's still in the house, he will not go out for a walk. He will not really? – I mean, he's got a doggy door and he will not. That's why we leave him at this house because it was equipped for a German shepherd. Cause I saw my father-in-law own and, and my father-in-law's German shepherd was like seven feet tall when he stood up and this was not nearly that size. So it's equipped wow. for it. So maybe it's done it, in his growth. How long did it take for your cat to come around? Um, the cats still have not come around to it. In fact, we had to take one to the vet today because her seizures were back and they think it's she's having seizures because of her anxiety. Because she started when we moved the first time. The second time was when we started introducing her to the dog. So she, now she's having seizures again. Oh, now I asked if I could give her CBD. I'm waiting for the vet to respond if that messes with her seizure meds because they have CBD stuff for dogs and cats. So, but I want to make sure it doesn't mess with her um, ep her epilepsy stuff yeah, or whatever. Adrian has a cat that it seemed like it took forever <laughs> before. Uh, no, this one, we've only had this one <laughs> now, right at a month, I think. So now I really thought that. that thing would never come to me. And we'd open the door, and as soon as we shut it, it was running to the door crazy. Wouldn't eat unless I kept the door open. Now the thing doesn't, it, it don't stop. And I've never seen a cat, and I know others have it because I posted it. Everybody says, oh, yeah, mine does, that lets you rub its belly. I don't oh, get mine it. does all the time, yeah. But that means it trusts you. Anytime an animal lets you touch its belly, because that's its most vulnerable area, that in the neck, that means they truly trust you. I'll tell you what, it was really funny because when, when I was sitting in um, Adrian and Zach's living room, she was trying to get the cat to come inside, so she had the door open, and and the, you got the stuff to come up to the door, and it, it was so funny. It was the perfect angle. Um, just all of a sudden, you just see the ears just slowly come up, and then you see those yellow eyes, and then you see the head, and then that's it. it, it it's like the perfect pose that that cat did. <laughs> I wish I could have gotten it on film. I swear this thing is retarded because it's got like fangs that come out here. They talk about long in the tooth when you're old. This thing is down here. But some of it has neutered him. I don't know if y'all can see. He's not doing it now. He's got one little ear that flops. Come here. That's yeah. his little, he's got one little floppy ear. Oh. That's his little cute little. You can still see it in his eyes. He's unsure about things. Well, because I got, uh, this is the first time he's seen the lights lit up on the makeup vanity. So he's like, what the heck? Yeah. That's why he's looking at you like, is it okay? Am I, am I okay? I can read animals better than I can humans. It's sad. Yeah, he just he just peed on the floor for the first time ever just a few minutes ago. I was like, what in the world? Because he's not I, I wonder. I wonder what he's thinking here in strange voices. Yeah, I think he's used to it. I talked to Chrissy on video chat enough. He's used to her strange voice. <laughs> <laughs> so he's probably heard the phrase "Jesus take the wheel" way too many times. Listen, <laughs> yeah. listen. Well, we started watching um, dog television. That's our new thing now. Is dog TV? <laughs> so talk about being spoiled. Yeah. Actually, you know, I would love to do a show on paranormal animals. You want to be a paranormal dog? Huh? Do you want to, be <laughs> do you want to go on paranormal investigation? Yeah, no. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you what, tomorrow on 13th Dimension is going to be really fun because we got Natalie Mosley coming in from, um, from the UK. And part of the show, we're going to be talking about horses. And she was talking about horses on Clarissa's show um, a couple months ago. And there's one story that she was telling me about today that she didn't bring up on Clarissa because she thought it was too dark to, to talk about. Um, 
but she's going to talk about it tomorrow. And I'm telling you what, she only gave me just a just a title of it, and it's going to be interesting. Let's put it that way. Is she the one that has a rapport with horses? I I think so. Is he is either Natalie or it is Chantel? Because Chantel yeah. works with horses too. I, whoever this story was, I still can't remember who it was, and I don't know why. I've either got it as Jenny or Clarissa. I don't know why that's in my head, but one of them had, I believe a sister who had a horse or something. Anyway, it was in their field and that horse still comes. They see that horse after it's passed for years. Uh, I believe animals. Uh, that might be Jennifer. Yeah, I, I, oh, no, no. You're talking Jenny in Ireland. Yeah. I really cannot remember who it was, but I remember hearing that story thinking, wow, it was really a neat story. I don't know, but she was saying something about horses. Um, Monday, when when you and Jan had the show and we were talking about, about the horses, I, I think Jenny was saying something about that. Yeah. Animals, I believe, have a strong sense of paranormal because they're so innocent. And Except for this one. Hold up. <laughs> <laughs> she she must have told us. Hi, Chrissy. Uh oh, just talking about Chrissy. I'm glad she didn't hear me talk about well, her. We were just talking about you. I love you. Oh, hey, Adrian, Natalie, stay put. Natalie, we have a question for you. Love you, Chrissy. <laughs> yeah, Chrissy, we, we were talking about Eileen's dog, and I was asking if if it was bothering the dog hearing mine and Adrian's voice. And she was saying she didn't think so because she did a lot of video calls with you and that he voice wasn't strange. bothered by your voice. Your voice is strange. Yeah. So I was like, he must have heard the phrase, Jesus, take the wheel all the time. <laughs> Listen. Listen. And, of course, that, that's your clip from on, on the intro video. <laughs> so. Adrian, Natalie's yeah. here. Oh, oh, that that little guy. This I little guy. You were get the cabbage. You got that one. This little guy. I'm still a little leery of. You gonna eat? Yeah. Because his teeth are huge. Adrian, um, ask Natalie your question. This this is Natalie, the one I'm talking about. That's doing the show tomorrow, and she'll be talking about horses. After we pass. I don't, I remember the story being something about um, the field. Don't you squeal at me, you little shit. Um, Guinea pig, Joshua. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a rabbit. Yeah, kind of. Um, <laughs> something about a horse that had passed and it keeps coming back to this, this girl. And I can't remember who it was telling the story, but she still sees it. She was very close to this horse. Why are you squealing? Shut up. Yeah, that's what I thought. You're fine. Family day, or, or no, pet family day on Supernatural Talk. <laughs> this one's never been held. I always See, put it Jeremy just has all this that he just rubs on. Yeah. And he acts like he's petting. That's why he <laughs> has a towel. So in case he starts biting, I can just. He's never bit, but I'm not taking that chance. Because I, I remember, I remember when you had him out of the cage when I came over. That was the first. Yeah, time. that was the first time he had been out of that cage. Yeah. I, I I remember the look on his face. He looked scared. Yeah. Well, look who he lives with. We take him out every night now. Love you. <laughs> he likes his chin rubbed. He likes behind his ears rubbed. Hmm. I'm sure he doesn't like yelling in his ear, but I don't think anybody. 
Okay. I don't um, know who that Facebook user is. Yeah, who, who are you? Go to StreamYard.com slash Facebook. Get permission. Eileen, so is that really you? you? Um, nope. As I'm a statue. Uh, I, I think we might. I don't know who you are before we answer that question. I, Eileen is a character from the Invasion of the Body Snatchers. I got to go get out of this suit later. <clears throat> oh, oh, it was Todd. Whatever. whatever. That makes sense. Okay. Just remember, <laughs> Todd, I, know I have tax we, and I know where you're sleeping on the 25th. There, there you go. We, we can rely on Joshua to let us know who okay. Facebook okay. users are. He and, can't and say Joshua, pellets everywhere? Are you talking about the the stand thing? Yes. Yes. In 10 minutes, we have to put a towel down now because in 10 minutes, you got 20 of them. No, I got this great idea. So I need to make sure Leanne can sleep in the bed with me because I might take some tacks and a snake and all that and put it in Todd's bed on the 25th. We have this thing that we play practical jokes on each other. Feel better? He knows better? not to drink anything around me now. <laughs> Watch my finger, shithead. <laughs> oh, he's eating. Oh, yeah. Well, what do you think he's been doing? You better watch that finger. What are you talking about, Brad? He won't trip. That'll be me pushing him. Here we go. Give a nice little close up of him. Biting me? Yeah, that's about what's going to happen. Okay. He's usually a good baby, but this, this is new to him. I usually put him on the what? floor, never hold him. <laughs> Sam, we're kind of talking about a little bit of everything. Get better? Get better. What you doing? What you doing? Since when do you not like these? Uh, Josh, wants, Josh wants to know how old is he? They told me he's four. Um, we just got this one about a week before Jeremy came down because apparently a child could not take care of it. Um, he refused to wash his cage do anything with him and if anybody's ever had one of these suckers it takes one day and that cage stinks to high heaven so you got to clean it like every day they pee and poop in the same place uh -huh. so they got to be cleaned every day or they god they stink that's how my ferrets are because we have yeah. two of the two ferrets and you have to stay on top of it because at my house we have three lizards Two ferrets, three cats, and shortly when we bring everybody here, we'll have all that in a dog. <laughs> Clarissa, yeah. But this is the first time it's ever been held like this, too. So we're we're seeing what's gonna happen. Is it gonna bite me? Is it gonna we're seeing you know, the events unfold? Somebody Clarissa, call that one. Clarissa might be able to answer your question about the horses. Yeah, Clarissa, who was it? that was talking about, it, it was on a show, and they were talking about having, they had horses, and I think it was their sister, their mother, somebody that had horses, and one of the horses they were really close to died, and that person sees the horses all the time, like it comes to visit. It sounds like Natalie, because she's really the only one that I know of that actually talked about horses on any show it, it might be i don't re i just remember the story because it stuck with me she, she said it is natalie okay okay um clarissa if you didn't know natalie's going to be on my show tomorrow stop squealing you know speaking of clarissa i i don't know what it is about today but i i was a day off because i kept waiting on um clarissa's show to start up today but it's tomorrow i would say memorial and, day but you know could have thrown <clears> you <throat> off okay natalie natalie there we go my two are around all the time okay so oh. was it you that i i saw the show where the horse comes and visits you 
because I couldn't figure out who it was, but I remember the story. It stuck with me. You don't want a carrot, seriously? What well, what did he have? Because some something that he had was um, catching the green screen. Oh, it was lettuce. Okay, green. So okay. It's spoiled. Don't you dare! You don't get close to my neck. Mm -mm. We ain't having that shit. Nope. We don't get close to my neck because I don't know what you'll do. All these new animals around. <laughs> I don't know what this one will do. They said, oh, he never bites. Yeah, I, I, I'll figure that out for myself. <laughs> I don't trust somebody's, oh, it doesn't bite. See, Brad, Todd thinks he's too nice to do that because he knows Leanne will get on to him if he if he tries to scare me. <laughs> a little, so a little Is that him doing that noise? Obviously, I had to stop petting my dog because I was like, hold on, was that him or what? You're okay. He's telling me it's not carrots I want. Well, um, Joshua just said don't give them too many carrots. It's actually not good. Yeah. Yeah. One uh, carrot a day, three stalks of lettuce, but you can only give them like the kind that, like, not the regular leaf lettuce. Um, and they can't have the MSG. One, like, piece of an apple a day because there's too much sugar. Um, sometimes half a strawberry. Yeah, I, re I remember you giving him a strawberry when I was there. Mm -hmm. He eats spinach all day long, broccoli, and then his hay. He loves his hay. But he's stationed next to the fridge, so you open that fridge, and he's like, and he's biting that cage. like, come on, give me a bite, give me a bite. So we have to give him something every time. You know, one thing I got to wonder, um, does it spook him whenever the refrigerator kicks on? No, no, no. nothing. Romaine. Um, yeah, but it's in the like. You can't buy it in the bag. It has to be like in the in where how it grows. Watercress. Okay, I hadn't thought of that. Okay, Natalie says they both passed a few years ago and still visit. Okay, that's that's exactly the story that I remember. Okay. Let's go put you back in the cage for you bite. So we finally solved that mystery. It is Natalie right. that Adrian's thinking that was of. Me crazy. <laughs> I know. I, I can't tell you how many times she, she would bring that up. I'm like, yeah, it sounds like Natalie, because I know she talked about horses a lot when she was on Clarissa's show. Yeah, so apparently this is bring your pet to work day. <laughs> now I'm I'm the only I'm the only host on this show that doesn't have a pet. Nick has right. cat. I'll bring y'all my my big pet. Hold on one second. The the big pet. Okay, folks. Um, I don't know about you, but that kind of that kind of scares the crap out of me. Because <laughs> think about it, Eileen from the south. Big pet. Ugh. Um, okay, I am left you all. Alone. Yeah, I know I'm left you okay. all alone. What am I gonna do? No, I can't. I, I can't come on screen yet. Hey, Tim, come here. I can't come on screen yet. This one, um, I, I finally got this one potty trained, and um, so that's pretty good. We, we still working on sleep patterns. <laughs> Hold on. This should be interesting, folks. So, <laughs> I'm very attacked here. I feel attacked. I feel attacked. He loves me so much. I finally got him potty trained. Eileen, you are so bad. So uh, bad. Nearly, it's not. It's not Eileen who has a tarantula. It's Adrian. I said, no, I won't, um, I won't have a tarantula. My husband wants a tar tarantula. My son wants a snake. Nope. You missed Bear earlier, Tim. Tim's met Bear. We took, Tim works at our local mall, our huge yeah. mall. And Bear goes walking out the mall. Come here, you want to say hey to Tim? Tim, you want to say hey to Bear? Hey, Bear. Hey, Bear. Hey, Bear. Hey, Bear. Hey, Bear. Hey, Bear. Hey, Bear.
here. Yeah, but but it's Adrian and Zach who have the the big spider. In fact, Zach brought it out for the show one time, didn't he? Yeah, I think. Yeah, I thought he did. No, mm, I don't like that thing. I don't like that thing. I don't no. like that thing. <laughs> if I had my way, it's going to get squished. Yeah, no, we're not doing. Mm -mm. I've got, like I said, I've had a water dragon. My beardy just died a couple months ago. Now I got three leopard geckos. I got, you know, I've, I've raised I can rats. That. I can't do the spider. Mm -mm. I've raised rats. Uh, it's as big as his hand. This thing is, let's see, I think he calculated 15 years old, something to that effect. He needs to die. Um, based on the life expectancy that somebody figured out about the tarantula. It was the, Joshua. Okay. Um, you still have about five more years left with that, with that thing. Yeah. See, Brad, the next ones I want is either a fox, I want a lemur. Um, we had a kangaroo or whatever they're called, the smaller ones, um, available not far from us. But I, I was now, thinking, would it be legal to have them as a pet? I don't know. I have to ask Tim. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what our, our ordinances are. No, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure that some of these animals you cannot have as a pet. Although it'd be fun. Someone's got a rooster down the road, okay? I'm. You know, That's a farm animal. I'm the daughter of a vet, okay? So my dad volunteered for the zoo, the local zoo. Growing up, I had a baby tiger in my bed because I decided it's a good idea to sleep with it. And it was, very, it was little when I got it. Little. It was bottle fed. I don't remember what happened to mom. I was like 10. Um, it got too big and started to play a little rough. What you got? So we had to take it back to the zoo. At another point, I was walking home from school and this dog followed me home. Seriously, Jennifer? Oh, no, I did have one of those too. Um, I'll get there in you a minute. Did? Yes, but uh, this dog follows me home. It's so cute. We get to my grandma's house and my grandma goes, uh, uh, what are you doing with this? I said, it followed me home. She goes, stay there. Don't move. She calls my dad. My dad shows up and goes, he had the tranquilizer gun. I'm like, what are you doing? He goes, you need to get inside now. I said, no, you're not touching this dog. No. He said, that's not a dog. Get inside. <laughs> I said, it followed me from school. He says, I told you to get inside. He aims that gun and I got between him and this dog. I said, no. He goes, okay, I need to get it in this vehicle. Pretty soon this vehicle shows up with a cage. And I'm like, no. He says, look, this is a wolf that escaped from the zoo five blocks down. Now, get your ass in the house and let me take care of this. I said, no. I said, he'll follow me. You're not putting him in there. You're not going to hurt him. He says, whatever. So the truck follows me. He follows me with the tranquilizer. We walk the four blocks back to the zoo. Sure enough, he was the pack leader. It was the male. And I never understood till later that he was out of his element so he found somebody he could trust and he wasn't being dominant he was just you know help me so i walked him back to the zoo and they did end up having to put that noose on his on his neck and take him back in because he wasn't going in but every time i go up there after that he come up to the gate um of course about a year later he wasn't doing that anymore because I was hardly there, but I'll never forget that. And then uh, the pet skunk, <laughs> skunk got hit. I was seven years old. It got hit out in front of our house. My dad, being the vet, descented it, 
stink lands out. I had that thing for probably a month before it ended up dying from injuries it had. It didn't, it's like a ferret. It didn't quit stinking, but it couldn't spray it out. It wasn't overpowering. Yeah. And then uh, I had a raccoon. I was about to say, a friend of mine just adopted, she's taking care of a raccoon right now. I, this little raccoon I had, it was little when I got it, but it found out real quick that if my mother-in-law would sit and it was under the couch, it would grab her legs and it would never hurt her, but she would run screaming. So it was a game. She'd stand up on a chair and it would stand up on the chair and look at <laughs> Did anybody ever get that on video? No, <laughs> that was before there was, you know. But I say, remember, we grew up in an era that you could actually do stupid things and not get caught. And then you know, I said that exact same thing to somebody just last night when I went to the Bell Mansion. We were talking about just that thing that we could be stupid in our younger years and never get caught by by these. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's a good thing because I I'd be so ruined right now. Oh, I, oh, I, oh um, yeah. See, Tim but, knew me in my younger years. Oh yeah, I'd be in so much trouble. Yeah, me too. <laughs> but then that little uh there was a raccoon and then there was my brother was uh, a lineman where he would work on the city lines they have cut down trees well that included squirrels with their babies so he would take them home and bottle feed them and all that good stuff so i got to do that um i, I think i've had every animal under the sun i'm gonna say squirrels yeah i mean wow what are those um possums Oh, I love possums. I even oh, had them for babies. They're assholes. They oh, no. Like <laughs> no, yep. I, mean, I love, we'll, we'll feed the possums around us. Uh, yeah. I had a possum get stuck on the back oh. door one time years ago. Y'all read Tim's question. He was telling me about this and I'm not big. I don't really know much about animals with paranormal. So I meant to ask y'all about that. Only come at night, white at the back, white one at the back door and black at the front. That that means they are flanking you, Tim. They are planning to attack you, so they are flanking you. One in the front, one in the back. <laughs> um, paranormal, no. But pay attention if that white one is like pure white like has no other color on it anywhere not a black hair not nothing they're deaf a pure white cat is deaf um it, it may just be scared of the other one sorry we're we're learning facts so we're playing we're now playing fetch sorry really glad to see you doing better michelle okay that's what i say joshua um possums are like great because it's michelle there. is actually um a, a client of mine from years ago okay mm -hmm. nice to have you on here michelle yep um I, she she knows my sister brenda okay that's that's uh, actually how we got connected we had a white deaf cat growing up thing would always attack yeah um I, I didn't learn until like we won't get into my age anyway midlife um <laughs> that white cats are deaf and i asked my dad about it and he said yes if it has no other colors on it not a black hair not anything else on it then yes they are deaf i i had no idea cats are protectors of energy they absorb it okay there you go You know, it would, be, it would be interesting to see, you know, when it comes to the paranormal, how many teams actually have animals join them on investigation? Because I know that there are quite a few people who use dogs. Yes. Um, we, we've seen it on TV. Mm -hmm. um, I think cats would be good. I, I think they would. Right. I don't know, because cats are so skittish except in their own area um if you take them somewhere else they're going to act really weird no matter what's going on until they get to know the area um tim 
also have a ghost in the house. Please explain what makes you think that. No, he he do, he does. I want to hear the story though. It's kind of a long one, so it's gonna take him a minute. That's okay. Let him type it out. I, I'd love to hear it. That's that's what we're here for. Let's hear yep. everybody's stories. Yeah, this is supernatural talk after all. Did you see the Alaskan in New York City at a bar that rescued the possum? No, I didn't. Um, what's that on? Is the Alaskan like a show? You got to forgive me. I'm old. I don't get to see very much. <laughs> you are trying not to reveal how old you are, and then you're saying, I'm old. Yeah, well, we're not going to divulge the age. 30 can be old. I'm only 24. What are you talking about? Like I said, 30 can be old. Mom. I'm X years old. I did one time at a cemetery, but not all the time. So, Pascal, you're saying you took a cat to a cemetery? That's interesting if you did. I Mine ain't going to behave anywhere other than home. They're going to take off, and I'll never see them again. Okay, it went viral yesterday. Um, Joshua, send me the link, please. I'd like to see that later. I don't want to hear you hey, just because you went to sleep up half the night last night. And, um, and also, what for those of you who are looking, check out this website that I've got going across here. This is Adrian's website for the team in Colorado. So check it out. Child got ran over by a car, died in the house. Things okay, especially dolls. Okay, is it, this is his childhood home. This Shut is his home you know. by kids and grandkids. Okay. So when was this child hit? Do you live in your childhood home still? I say childhood. I don't know what age he moved into it, but I know his parents were there. So that's where he still lives now. Mm -hmm. Okay. He moved he moved back in there after his parents um passed. Okay. okay. You know, Tim, oh. I, I'd love to see footage. Oh, hey, Nick is here. 76. There we go. What's up, guys? Hello, <laughs> nice of you to join us, Nick. Sorry, I'm running away. Sorry, I ran late, but I got here as quick as I could. <laughs> well, I, I, I was explaining like to everybody like what was going on and wouldn't have blamed you if you didn't show up at all. You look like you have ink all over your face. <laughs> I just <laughs> noticed He's that. I do Nick now. There we go. <laughs> there. What's that show or movie or whatever that like it keeps growing? Oh, um, Vampire Diaries. Whenever they would kill a when the vampire hunter would kill a vampire, they they would get a little bit more on the tattoo. That's what you were kind of looking like. <laughs> what you been out doing, Nick? Just just been busy. I mean, like I said, with my sister's birthday and whatnot. But um, throughout most of today, I mean, I was actually I was mostly off today, so didn't really have much going on. So did you guys have a good time? Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah. I might have to step off after this because they still haven't had cake yet, but they wanted me to be part of this, though. <laughs> uh, yeah, Tim, if you got some video or you get some, let me know. I'd like to see it. The cats patrol like they are on patrol. Yes, <laughs> oh, yeah, um, the cats have been saying some funny things about you today. <laughs> <laughs> well, apparently you got married to Samara today. Oh my God! What the? Here we go again with Brad. <laughs> See what happens when you're not here. You get married. Yeah. I know it's kind of sad. <laughs> yeah. Although I, 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 I will admit that is one wedding that I would attend. You and Samara. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. And I bet Brad would probably get, I know what wedding gift he would give me. It would probably be with a cockroach in it. <laughs> um, there, there, there would be a cockroach involved. Not, not a real one. I can tell you that. I can guarantee you that. But. I, can send, I can send them the roaches because I bet you mine, mine are like 
this big here. Oh, hell no. That's yeah, absolutely not. You they can keep them. Keep them. Keep them. <laughs> I'm good. I hate send those me things. Your address, um, and I'll send you some to give to Nick, okay? Nope. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> what do you have there, Adrian? The cake. Oh. I thought it was like one of those um, look like a spear or something like they use for spear fishing. It it, it is. See, oh, where is okay. Joshua from? Oh God, no! He said they fly. <laughs> Hell no! Where is he from? <laughs> Absolutely, we got field roaches that fly. I'll just dress up in a cockroach costume. <laughs> okay, awesome. There you go. You gotta be. You gotta. Yeah, there you go. Know, dress, dress up in a cockroach costume and then show up at Nick's house for Halloween for trick or treating. <laughs> and and let's see if he either gives you a candy or one of them sprays. Yeah. <laughs> I knew. I knew Joshua had to be from the south. Yeah. Joshua, did you get high? What? Spider flies. I think it's a, you know there's a difference between jumping and flying, right? And there's also a difference between a web that they're just floating on and flying. I, I really need to hear this story. I, yeah. yeah, Nick, you missed out on some good conversations here. We did a show and tell with your pets. <laughs> oh, geez. And yeah. I got my cat in my closet right over here. You could have brought her up. The cat is in the closet. <laughs> She, it's not what you think. That's her height because we got my sister's dog over here and oh. she hates the dog. And she jumped, well, it's also became her bedroom. She sleeps in my closet a lot. Okay. So, no, it's not, I don't, know what, I don't know what you guys were thinking, but it's not what you guys think, whatever it was. That's, that's just, that's her choice. Whoa, well, well, Angie. I had a, a guinea pig out. The cat's, I don't know where. My big, my big pet right? made a you. What's that? My big pet that's like five foot something tall made a debut. Yeah. So for about 30 seconds, I was left all alone on this show because Adrian went to put the guinea pig away and Eileen went to go get her big pet. So I had to try to entertain the audience for 30 seconds. I'm like, um, okay. <laughs> Welcome oh. to my world when Jan has to go take care of Abby. Guys, I got to hop off one more time. <laughs> this time for a short period because now my mom said it's time for cake. Great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, I'll be quick, though. I'll, I'll be back. <laughs> All right. Put that cake in your mouth. Take, take your time, Nick. Yeah, Good time. enjoy enjoy the family. Yep, I will. I'll be back <laughs> soon, guys. <laughs> Joshua, Joshua, wait, we, just we really need to have a talk about spiders and physics. Brad. What that's not going to happen. <laughs> now, Brad, I have had to raise what are they called the doobie, Dubai, whatever roaches. Um, we were going to get um the hissing ones to, to oh. start breeding, but I couldn't. <laughs> I couldn't deal with noise like crickets. We were breeding crickets, and I couldn't. Uh, oh, oh, if I, I ate in my house, those are the ones that I hate more than any. The hissing ones. That's if that's like I'm done at that point. <laughs> I don't want to see them. <laughs> and Brad, I actually I do need to talk to you about that. All right, guys, I'll be back. All right, see you later, Nick. When you when you have lizards, you have really weird things that most people try to get rid of in their house that you're actually trying to breed to make it cheaper than having to keep going to the store or ordering online. Yeah. Um, hey, babe. What? Get Harry. Don't do it. She's going to smack you. Oh, I. <laughs> that wouldn't make such a mess. I would. Now, in New Mexico, they would, like, climb the hills when it would rain. And, like, the hills would be moving. So they come into your house. And what are you going to do? Yeah, you go squish the damn things. They're nuisances. So yeah, just, I think someone said on here earlier, just be prepared. Because when you squish them, all those babies, they were all have on their back to take off. Oh, this one ain't having babies. But it's nasty. It's huge. Oh, it's God. so old. That the skin on its back looks like a rose. It's like skin. It's not even fur. It's um, it's Brad. I I was getting all my deliveries of really active. Guys. So yeah, 
<laughs> He's got it. Uh, turn it so they can see its butt. Well, it's it's really What's the problem? Why would mm -hmm. we want to see its butt? That's the question. Because right here, see, she doesn't like me. Right here, <laughs> it's got like skin, not fur. It's gross. Yeah. Right now, I am, I am waiting on that jump scare of the spider to jump off his hand and onto the camera. I'm telling you, it'll be squished. Well, I'm telling you, you'll be squished. You wish. So, yeah. Did you hear that? He threatened me. Hear that? <laughs> Domestic abuse. Now, Brad, we, we were getting some super worms delivered, and they couldn't, Ooh. They had, because of the heat, Ooh. they had to hold on to them at the post office. I think those people hated me because they were trying to figure out what was making all the noise in the box. She is, Joshua. Didn't you see her recoil away from the spider as it moved? That thing just, start, it, it's really active right now. Used to, it was like, it's supposed to shed, and it's so damn old it doesn't even know to shed anymore. Now, I'm not terrified of spiders, but that thing, I don't like it. I, was, I don't mind spiders, but I, there's some about tarantulas that are, they're just not a spider. I used to hold them all the time in the wild. Pick them up and hold them. I didn't know they could bite. Now that I know a little more, I don't like that fucker. Just be glad we don't have the big spiders that they have down in Australia. I would love to see one of those. The size of a plate? Uh-uh. Hell no. Yeah. I would love to see if, it. If I see a spider of that size, all of a sudden now I'm going to start thinking about the spider they have on Lord of the Rings and Harry Potter. Hell no. I could keep one. I could. Mm -mm. The camel spider. That Yeah, that's what we're talking about, Brad. Yeah, I don't even know what that is and don't want to know what it is. There Look, should, it up. Look up camel an spider. An insect should not get that big. I'm sorry. It's the size of a dinner plate. A, a camel spider gets pretty big. And if oh, I'm not mistaken, they're, all, they're about they're about the same color as sand too, aren't they? Oh yeah. So so it'd be really hard to see them in the desert. Oh yeah, they bury themselves. They do what? They bury themselves. Oh, my son said they bury themselves. I, I don't guess. know if you can even see this right now, but yeah, no. come here, baby. What? Well, he was being really aggressive. Did he rip their shirt? He was jumping back and forth. Yeah. Uh, saying was is that what you're talking about? Yeah, they bury themselves in the sand. And then when things yeah, step on them, they're like, Okay, Brad right. just said that that's not actually a real spider, but it's in the same family as a scorpion. I'm about to say, now my, my husband and son want a scorpion to put in the fish no, no, tank. No. Camel spider versus tarantula. Here we go. Yeah, no, I don't know. Yeah, and they'll bury themselves in some, some types of them flip over. I mean, well, come here and say it, because I don't know all this crap. Who wins? I don't care. They both need that. Wait. Camel spider backing the tarantula up? Uh-huh. Oh, boy. See, that's not the camel spiders that I, I'm thinking of that are, like, huge. Like the size of a dinner plate. <laughs> Clarissa just said that you're going to give us nightmares. I have to live with the damn things. She does. Luckily, they kept that thing in the in the glass cage when I was there. <laughs> I do not like spiders. Here we go. This is what I wanted to see. I don't know how big I can make it, but this is the largest spider in the world. That's on a tree. On a tree? On a tree. Hell no. Yeah. So I didn't even see it. Let's see here. The guy's hand doesn't even cover it. Jeez. The Wyeth bird eater is what they call it. If it eats birds, we have an issue. Sorry, guys. I guess my dog. Got found some chocolate somewhere, so we're kind of checking on this. Oh shit! Yeah. Check it. Well, that's what we're that's what we're sitting here talking about. That's serious. Yeah, we don't yeah. know where everything is around here. 
So it does. And I have one have a heart attack that way. Yeah, so that's what we're kind of, but he's uh, he's been playing. So I think that's why, because he is breathing kind of hard. But I've been playing fetch with him. Yeah. Let him calm down, see what he does. Feel his heartbeat. Do you know how much chocolate he had? Uh, no. He found some. He, he, he gets up in the cabinets now because he gets up there pretty good. And I guess he got in some hot cocoa that we didn't know was up there. How would you like to put that on your arm? Mm -mm. Thanks, Brad. See what I got over here. That thing is on his damn arm. All right, guys, I'm going to go. I'm sorry. Um, I've just got to go check on this because he's kind of acting a little strange. So okay. keep us updated. Love y'all. Thank y'all. Keep us updated. All right. All right. Yeah, Bye. good luck. And then there were two. Ooh, that was kind of pretty. It, excuse me? <laughs> it's kind of pretty. Burrowing. I never thought that I would ever hear you say that a spider is pretty. But it's only seven and a half inches in East Africa, so that's not that's not huge. Only? I'm, yeah, I'm looking for the ones that are like the size of dinner plates that hang on trees. Look, look up Australian spiders. I, I looked up largest spider in the world, and I can't find the Australian ones. Then put down Australian spider. You'd think that would come up as largest spider. Ooh. Well, you never know. You never know. Uh, that might be it. No, because this is the size of his hand. That is no way that that's the biggest one. No. They show ones like on trees the size of dinner plates. Okay, I'm, I'm going to regret this. I don't like, like them. Huntsman spider in the museum in Australia. Okay, that's ugly. That looks like a tick. How about this one? There we go. That's better. They do get bigger than that, though. This one here is a Goliath bird eater. That's what I was looking up earlier, and it didn't show it that big. Ten most deadliest spiders in Australia? Oh, we all know this one. Yeah. I don't think that's just Australia. Okay, now, now speaking of spiders, I, I have heard this for years, but I don't know if this is true. The granddaddy long legs, I have heard that they are the most poisonous spiders in the world. They are. But they cannot bite you. It never is that true? Uh, they cannot bite a human. They cannot penetrate the skin of a human. But they are they kill flies. They kill insects. They can penetrate that and kill them instantly. I always take those little granddaddy long legs, pick them up in my hand, and put them outside. Okay. They're always in my bath bathtub for some reason. I guess they need water. <laughs> water kills them. Um, well, not if they need a drink. We don't want to drown them. We just want to give them some water. And then there's those little house fly spiders. They can, they're fly catchers. I'll yeah. keep them in my house all day. I don't care. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. Brad just sent me a Yeah, that. Brad, that's that's what I found. He sent me a picture of a Goliath bird eater. Yeah, I, that's what I had a picture of, but it was not near as big as that other one. Yeah, I just I just started, it, it was in that image thing, so I just started scrolling over, and then I found that picture. Saudi Arabia, that's where those 
great big ones are from? The camel spiders. Yes, because um, some of the soldiers tried to bring them home. Uh, can we talk about something else other than spiders? <laughs> no, we really want to see these spiders. Yeah, I, I, I cannot do spiders. It, it, it's a wonder how I can even watch it because I hate spiders. It has spiders in it? It is a spider. It is a clown. It is a clown, but it's it's true form. The spider is the closest thing to its natural true form. And you see that at the end of, of the story. I guess that's probably because I went to sleep for the end. Probably, yeah. <clears throat> but but yeah, um, P Pennywise natural form is that like a spider and its natural equal enemy is a tortoise. Which is... Yeah, I, I can do clowns. I can do spiders. I, uh... I just don't want them in my house. Or yeah. in a aquarium in my house. <laughs> Pennywise is the biggest spider, then comes Spider-Man. <laughs> I'm okay with Spider-Man. He can throw webs. Yeah. Well, depending on which version of Spider-Man you're looking at. Clarissa centipedes. Don't ask. <laughs> is it centipedes that are poisonous or millipedes? I don't know, but when she brought up the centipede thing, the first thing that popped up in my mind was human centipede. We, in New Mexico, we had them all. Centipedes, millipedes, all of it. There was not a box you could reach into that you didn't have yeah. a black widow in your hand. They're both us. <laughs> I got to see which one's poisonous now. <laughs> well, we peaked two in just now. I want to say it's centipede, but poisonous. Okay, so do millipedes bite or sting? Unlike centipedes, they are not venomous. Millipedes are not venomous. Predominantly considered to be non-poisonous. Okay, so the centipedes are poisonous. Yep, no thanks. <clears throat> but, but I bet you the bite would still hurt. I'm not going to sit and pick every leg and try to count them. See if it's a centipede or a millipede. Yeah, no. But good, I do. Good night. good night, Natalie. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye, Natalie. Look forward to hearing your show. Yeah, now all she can think of is scary spiders. <laughs> They're like a brown color. Okay. Um, in New Mexico, we would get... Uh, there's two kinds. There's uh, scorpions, but they're not the kind that will kill you, but they sure hurt like hell. So when you catch them, you just kind of pinch the stinger off them. You can play with them all day long. Of course, you have to kill them when you're done because they can't defend themselves after that. But um, then there's, they call them vinegar wounds, and you have to be in a certain area to even know what those are. No, Notice how she just naturally threw that out there. Of course, you have to kill them when you're done. <laughs> Yeah, well, you can't. Uh, I, like, I like how you did that. <laughs> um, vinegaroons. I don't know how many people in here know what a vinegaroon is, but. I've mean, never heard of one. Really? No. Oh, God. You do not. Uh, they're harmless, but they stink like vinegar and they throw it on you. And. Really? Oh, God. Throw it on you? Yeah, they like spray it. But they look like. Um, a scorpion. They have that stinger, but they don't use uh -huh. it. It's they're they're really weird creatures. But we used to take them all the time and just play with them. Let's see if I can find a picture. Vinegaroon. There we go. This 
is what you'd see to start with when you see a vinegar in. That looks like something out of a Men in Black movie. <laughs> yeah. So then you see it do this because it's about to spray the shit out of you with vinegar. Oh, boy. They're harmless. They really are. They look like scorpions, and that's that's their defense. They look like scorpions. They also have the little pinchers like scorpions. <laughs> They're harmless. But, damn, you don't oh, want yeah. to. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Somebody actually holding one. Huh. We used to play with them all the time. Hell no. They just stink. That's all. They don't hurt you. Never heard of them. Joshua, look them up. They're actually really cool. Jeff, how you doing, goat? <clears throat> I don't know. These... Uh, when did we become the insect show? <laughs> and then, and then there's, I don't know how many people have heard about the uh, hog nose, hog nose snake. No. They're probably not in your area. Here's what I found out the hard way. I thought it was dead. So oh I looked at it. I beat it with a shovel. A yeah, don't encourage her. <laughs> I'll have to look that up. Um, but they smell like an animal that had laid there dead for days in the heat. Really? They play dead. And I thought, I thought it was dead, but I wasn't sure. So I hit it with a shovel a few times and then I picked it up and I was going to show somebody and it started stinking. God, it stunk. It didn't stink when I picked it up. So so you hit it with a shovel a few times and it was still alive. Yep. Yes, it was. And so after wow. it lived through all that, it can have it. It can live. I I let it go. It can have anything it wanted to after that. They play dead and they stink like death. But this is why they call him Hognose. Let's see if I can find his little nose. He's so cute. That's a snake. That's a snake, and they're harmless. But God, they stink. <laughs> his eyes look like he's mad. And this is what they look like when you see him. They look like diving back rattlers. Yeah, just. I thought that's what it was, fixing to eat my chickens. So I commenced to beating it with a shovel. Did, did it have the rattlers on the end? No. I just picked it up and I was like, okay. So I took it. And I was showing the kids and grandkids. And I was like, this was in the front yard. Look, you guys need to watch where you step. All of a sudden it starts stinking. Okay, it's still alive. Took it, <laughs> threw it across the fence. It went on about its way and killed whatever else. That all they kill is rodents. Okay. And when, when you were saying that you found out the hard way, I thought it came back alive in your hand and started chasing you. No, it came back alive in my hand, but it did not chase me. They they're like uh, rat snakes or anything else. They don't have fangs. They just have the like sandpaper. So when they bite you, it's just going to rip your skin when they bite. They're not poisonous. Kind of cute. Yeah, they are. They're really cute. Brad, have you seen my nose? <laughs> you look like that. Wouldn't you be mad? Too? No, that thing is so cute. It's got the little upturned nose and they're so cute. I think I think that you and Brad have different definitions of cute. <laughs> Coach whips. 
Coach whips are amazing. I used to bring them home all the time. I I have no fear of snakes. I have no fear of much of any animal. Oh, I, I do. I just don't need them in my house. <clears throat> snakes, spiders, scorpions. Yeah, you can keep that away from me. Scorpions, I, I don't want to keep as pets. Um, They have no business in the house. Although in New Mexico, I never had one. I lived there 10 years and never had one. But almost everybody I knew had them in their shoe or in their pants where they throw their pants on the ground and then pick them back up and put them on in the morning and be stung. Update, we don't think he actually ate it. He found him. In the back of the cabinet. Okay, good. That's good. That's good news. So dangerous for those babies. Yeah. I think I'm happy with my dog. No snakes, no spiders, or something else in my house. And yeah. Dogs yeah, are great. Yeah, with just a dog, too. Dogs are great. Cats are great. But everything else is just interesting. Yeah. <clears throat> I, uh, I like all animals. I have no problem with them. You know, no, that's something I don't know how many of y'all on here are impasse, but that's how I actually hey, there's Jill. found out. Apparently she's been Jill. watching for a while. <laughs> Hi, Jill. Yeah. Um I actually I've been, I've been trying to get it away from the insect thing, but it's not not working so well. <laughs> uh, we're talking about animals. We're good. Yeah. Um I don't know how many of y'all in here impasse, but I thought growing up, everybody could sense what an animal's thinking, look in their eyes and know if they're happy, they're sad, they're, they need something. I thought everybody knew. I didn't know until a whole lot later that not everybody could do that. Huh. So that's how you I, know, I mean. Hey, Welcome sorry, back, I'm on my cell phone now. That was kind of a little scary. We don't think he actually ate it, but. That's yeah, good. That is That's good. Well, you, you missed it because Adrian's been showing me pictures of all kinds of creepy things. <laughs> yeah. We're just talking about Saudi Arabian spiders. Gotcha. I mean, we've been all over the place, haven't we, on this uh, tonight? Yes, we have. But so. I well, as soon as we got on the topic of animals, we hadn't gotten off of it. So. Who doesn't like animals? So oh, I, I love animals. I just don't like spiders. Or... We never said it would all be a paranormal uh, conversation. Right? Yeah. We didn't even have a topic when we were starting off. To... <laughs> really. Just an hour before the show, I asked everybody, okay, what do you guys want to start off with? And Adrian just come up with something random. Okay, we'll start with that. Uh, will you put up there what Jill just said? Yes. I'm trying to read it here. Although live real ones are kind of cool. When I was little, I used to see all kinds, like everything from bugs, snakes. Okay, Jill, so looking back, did you see that as maybe a warning? Did you see it as they were coming to you for help? Or did you see it as like they were trying to scare you? Next time she comes with a paranormal spider. Just I don't know. To me, spiders aren't associated with spooky. I guess because I grew up with a vet. I don't know. I gave mouth to mouth to a damn iguana. So But see, I love iguanas. Yeah, mine got smashed in the window, like the window fell down on him while he was laying there. So, oh, oh man, we had to revive him. It didn't work, but see him crawling in on people. Okay, Jill, when that happened, did did you ever notice something happen to those people, or did you notice was there a pattern of any kind? That's actually kind of interesting. And I, I would like to pref say something. Um, 
No, my house isn't normally like if you see anything in the background, normally like filthy or anything. But we are renovating this house because uh, uh, the people who don't know, my father in law passed away a few months back and we're renovating his house and it's full of stuff. So we don't know where everything is. So it's not like we just leave chocolate or whatever laying around. <laughs> no, you've been working hard on that for a while. Right now, I am checking up on on schedules, checking to see if there's anybody immediately behind us. Devil's Toy Box. Brad, I honestly don't know what that is. Uh, please explain that for me. So, obviously, we have never used it if we don't know what it is. Jill, do you think maybe the ones that were attracted to certain people? Okay, I have two scenarios. and you'd be the only one that really knows but the two scenarios i can think of is people that see things like that either one they're schizophrenic or two it's a sign that person's bad or that person's about to die or something is happening to that person cats are great one time in the corner of the room i looked and saw what looked like two snakes Joshua, I don't do snakes either. Um, this weekend I was over here and I was on the phone with my cousin who I am the only female. They're all men. And a snake crossed my path and I freaked out. And of course, my cousin was like, oh, well, just make sure your doggy door is closed and all this because they could be all up in your bed. He's always like to tease me. I don't do snakes either. And it took me forever to be able to walk back in this house. Well, where you live, Eileen, they come up your toilet. Shut you up! Sit on the toilet and one bites you in the ass. It happens. What do you think I look before? I look before I sit, okay? But they come up and bite while you're sitting. They're not going to just go, "Hi, I'm here." No, they're going to hide until you sit. Why do you think I like possums? Why do you think I like? <laughs> just, just be glad we don't have any anacondas in our area. I'm moving to Alaska. They have no snakes. <laughs> Alaska doesn't have anything. Dang, Jill. I, I wish you'd have... I don't know. I know it was scary for you, but maybe you could have, if you'd have kept going, you'd have seen a pattern or known what it's warning you of. Hmm. People screaming at me. <laughs> Jeez, I really think that was a sign. I, I don't know what of, but it was telling you something. Are you at this point in life, are you an empath, um, psychic medium, anything like that? While we're waiting on that answer, Eileen, we have a guest for next week, don't we? I think it's I think it's next week that Dan is from Old Park Hotel is gonna be on. I think yeah. that's next week. Okay. I love Dan. I don't know if Connie's gonna be with them, but I know Dan's gonna be on. She better be. That's um Dan LaFree LaFair. I'm not butchering exactly butchering right. it and make him mad at me when we when I see him next in the next couple of weeks. Jill, if you ever need help with that, um look me up. I'll be glad to help you. Oh man, can you can you believe that we've gone almost two hours already on this show? <laughs> no, I really didn't realize that. This show is just flown for me. More like a portal. Okay, it's more like a portal box or something. With the mirrors. I don't know if it's that. Um, I honestly don't know what that is. Um, you're welcome. How much you pay? Um, I'm willing to try it. Let's do it. How Mr. much do they run? Sister's birthday tonight. They're having cake. He'll be back, Jill. If he can be back in ten nine minutes. Yeah. Well, we 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 can go over. I was checking the schedules oh, and and we're clear. I I know on I on Skeleton Key they have a show that starts an hour after us. Mm. I just noticed it on this latest schedule. <clears throat> Joshua, thank you. We, we love having you on. You're one of our biggest supporters. We love you. Yes. Been one of our biggest supporters from day one. Have. Yes. Uh, 
Well, actually, no. Before day one, back at the old network. I don't remember him on the old network. I do remember him being on every show I've ever been on. Yeah, I think I think he was I think he was with us back on the old network too. Josh, were you? I yeah. posted a few comments about the devil's toy, but Brad, where did you post them? I'd love to see them. I'm always open to learn. Uh, oh, right here. Yeah. But he said something about he posted him. Do, do you have like video of you using it or anything so we can kind of see it in action? Bring him to me. Oh, Joshua, you were. I'm sorry. I'll be nice now. Look, she doesn't remember what she did five minutes ago, let alone anything else. Yes, yeah, so we're going to go with that, okay? <laughs> I have Alzheimer's, so anything I say, That old age catches up with her really quickly. You, you can't right. hold anything I say. I, I'm not responsible for it. I have Alzheimer's. We're going to go with that, okay? Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll stick to that story. I cannot be held responsible for anything I say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't don't look at don't look at her eyes as she rolls them. <laughs> yeah, I'm just the one eyes. with the big halo over my head. I don't know what y'all talking about. Don't look at my. You eyes. actually do look like you have a halo over your head. I know, right? You know, some things might happen. Things might look, happen. the bed I'm sitting on used to be a water bed. Okay, if that tells you, we don't want to know. Mm -mm. I'm old enough to know water beds. Mm -mm. We don't want to hear that story. Wasn't my water bed. That's even worse. I, I used to have a I used to have a water bed until it sprung a leak on me in the middle of the night. I love water beds. Um Brad, no, I have not used one, but I'm absolutely open to trying it. Let's do it. Seeing people's um, like that's cool. right. I forgot. If you, if you didn't know this, oh, Nick's back. If you, uh, if you, if you didn't know this, Brad actually builds equipment. Jill. Oh, really? That's awesome. Oh, Brad, you oh, go ahead. Damn, Nick. Look at yeah, you. I know I'm fixing that right now. <laughs> no, I like that. All right, like this? <laughs> <laughs> that, that's just awesome. Brad, I need to get you no. in touch with my 14 year old. He's actually just trying to figure out how to make mute or he started making music boxes by just taking bits and pieces of stuff around the house and building them for, for me in the paranormal. Of course he built other people one, but never built me one yet. So he loves to uh, mess around with electronics <laughs> and rebuild stuff. So definitely get with me and I'll get you in touch with him. Okay. Jill seeing people's halos, like seeing aura. Okay. Let's dispel this theory real quick. Can you really see aura or energy in a picture? See, I thought you were supposed to go with, I thought you were supposed to tell her that I didn't have a halo. Well, we know you don't. We're, we're <laughs> no, no, she, she has a halo. She's just got two little horns holding it up. No, <laughs> you're done. took that halo and said, you're done. The devil was an angel once too. That is, true. that is true. Well, looking at, okay. Yeah. And I agree with that, Jill. Um, a lot of people say, yeah, I can see it in a picture. I can't. And a lot of people say they can't. I can't either. I, I can see it living. I cannot see it on video, on a picture, anything like that. Now I can see Nick's aura right now and it ain't good. <laughs> <laughs> What I see there, Nick's going to die in the next, I don't know, five minutes. <laughs> now, you don't feel really bad if he drops dead in four minutes. Uh, Dad, Halo, thanks for noticing. <laughs> All right. Be right back. <laughs> 
Yeah. You got to admit, the look on Nick's face right now, that the way that he's got it with the shadow and everything, it looks cool. <laughs> it really it looks like does. you can almost see through his face. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I actually like it too. It looks really cool. It does. <laughs> no one, uh, no one's it's on one day know what Nick looks like. It's a poster board for a movie. It's what, Jeremy? It reminds me of a poster board for a movie. Damn the opera. <laughs> yeah. No, no, I'm just just a regular horror movie where it has got just the killer space is kind of peering out from the blackness. Oh, uh, okay. I'm I'm actually I'm actually picturing like like a reddish tint on the face instead of black. You got you got the black backdrop, and, and then then the face is coming out, and what you see of the face is is red. Oh, it's so like a, that's what that's what I am seeing with you. Oh, it's like a dark red color. Okay. Yeah. So we got the yeah, Phantom of the Opera. Black. We got the Phantom of the Opera over there, and we've got. The Pirate of Indiana. <laughs> you know, it's funny you, you say that. So Wednesday, I went shopping for my dad. And when when I went, he was being taken <laughs> to a doctor to the, the in-house home nurse. Oh, God. So, and, and I had just gotten back to his house, and I was putting away the groceries. And the nurse brought dad back home. And she looked at me and said, well, I didn't know I was going to meet Jack Sparrow today. <laughs> I just started laughing. She's like, I, I'm sorry. I just had to say, that. no, trust me. I get that all the time. <laughs> yeah. We need to get you a hat. <laughs> huh? We need to get you a hat. I actually have a hat. Not not a pirate hat, but I do have a hat. Well, that's what I mean, silly. Oh, hold on, let, let, let me get, let me get the hat that I do have. Actually, I was about to. Oh wait a minute, hang on. Where is it? Ah, damn it! This must be a very important hat he's got. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually going to show Jeremy this. Check this out. Hang on one sec. Is this what he was looking for? Oh, Jeremy. Wow. Very close. Yeah, very close. <laughs> oh, yeah, the, the, the color, it, it, very close to that, only that the entire background is black and only your face is red. So so here is the hat oh, wow. that I've got. <laughs> Pirates can be supernatural talk like Phantom Ships at Sea. <laughs> <laughs> Red Rum. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> now, y'all do believe I'm the innocent one out of this whole crew, right? I'm the sweet and innocent one. Maybe. Uh, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Just say yes, Adrian. I said it, so you know you trust me. Just say yes. Uh, I would if I didn't hear what you said. You <laughs> the angel here. Hey. Rico Suave. Rico Suave. Rico Suave. That, that's, oh, that's yeah. I don't know who that is. <laughs> um, yeah, you're too young to know. I was say, yeah, you're like ten. So. We would have really lost him when we were talking about new kids on the block, Kirk Cameron. <laughs> He's still going, wait, who's new kids on the block? Live the hats. Michael Landon? Oh, love Landon. the hats. Love. Yeah, we hat. would have really lost Nick during that conversation. He'd be like, huh? What yeah, hat? I'm not sure what you're talking about. Oh, right. What hat we got going here? Oh, he she missed it. I called I him the to... Pirate of Indiana. Had <laughs> 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 to walk away. <laughs> well, I have a 
wall full here. Um, none of them I'd actually really put on because they're all like New Jersey devils. <laughs> yeah, we won't put anything New Jersey on. I know who new kids on the block is, Jill. I just don't know too much about them. Well, now Adrian's got her own. <laughs> no, it's more like the one. Okay, no, it's more like the one. Get a hat. okay, welcome to the hat show, people. Hold on, hold I'll on. my hat. <laughs> no, it's more I like the one. I don't have one, but I can steal one. one. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have one here, but I can steal I'll right one. Back. I'll get one. You know, I, actually, I, I'm going to regret this. I know this, but actually, this hat goes with the eye patch. Kind of, yeah. Yeah. How's that? Right. Hey, that works. You know, I, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to tell you guys this. I get so many comments, um, so many messages about about me and the eye patch. <laughs> I bet. Yeah. And everybody knows why I wear this eye patch. I don't like wearing the eye patch, but I have no choice. And everybody is like, dude, you have got to keep the eye patch. Like, no, I don't want to keep the eye patch. Keep the eye patch. <laughs> really? okay. I, 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 Joshua, I got to know who this is because yeah, I may know the name, but. Um, do do. There is a team in New Jersey that is in the Thames family. They are um, the New Jersey Ghost Detectives. I don't guess I know them. Yeah. I'll have to get to know them. All right, guys. It's been two hours. Love y'all. I've got to start working on clearing out the house. That's actually why I'm here overnight. So, yeah, my day's <laughs> off. I sleep here so I can have all night and all day working on it. Look, here we go. Two Jeremy's. So, <laughs> I, I need, last time, I I'm going to tell y'all, love y'all. Right, have a good night, Eileen. Good night. Good night, good night uh, Eileen. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Yeah, so so here's the before and after. <laughs> let, let's, let's do it this way. Here's the before and after. The, no, Nick. Put that oh, back wait, okay, sorry, sorry. Yeah, so so there's the before picture, and here's the after. <laughs> <laughs> that that's me before my accident, and this is me now after yeah. the accident. That looks like caveman, and that looks good. <laughs> no, what I was doing. The reason why I turned it off was I wanted to make this a reality. Here it is, the red and the black. Remember? That. That is so much closer to what, what I was envisioning. Okay, I think it might be as close. Adrian, what I was saying is that when, when Nick when Nick came on with, with that kind of filter, automatically I was seeing a movie poster for a horror movie where you got where you got the, the black backdrop, and then all of a sudden you just had the, the evil person's <laughs> face was peering out of the darkness, but it's got a red tint to it. Mm -hmm. And and that right there is about as close as he's going to be able to get to that. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. That's pretty good, Nick. <laughs> I just went on Google search. I, I, yeah, I went on uh, Google search and just typed in like black and red background. And uh, yeah, I just found this one image that was just, it had red in the center and the rest of it was just black. So I thought that was perfect. You, you pretty much nailed it. <laughs> That's about as close as you're going to be able to get to it without actually taking out the rest of the rest of you, the, your hair, your shirt. Uh, let me see if hey, I can do that. Brad, no. <laughs> be Julia. No. <laughs> hey, that's an idea, Brad. No. <laughs> Hell no. Why Where's not? my green screen? Uh, Jill, I have my green screen right here. It's right behind me. Adrian, think about it. Look at how look at how popular I can't even speak right now. Look at how popular this eye patch has gotten. If we start putting crap on it now, how much more popular is it going to get? Exactly. Making it Let's even harder it. for me to get rid of it. You can only do it once. Let's do it. No. It's like uh, what do they call <laughs> that? Um, uh, I don't know exactly what it's called, but 
you know, bedazzle all kinds of crap. I, I won't well, get into that. But. I, I know exactly what you're talking about, and I know exactly what it's called, and I ain't saying it. Well, I can't <laughs> say it. Just a red face. Hey, I got it, Jerry. Oh. It's just a red face. Floating oh, head. Floating <laughs> wow. head. Totally paranormal. Um. <laughs> That's pretty creepy. Yeah. Wow. There's actually somebody I saw from a show. I wish they could, say, whoever it was, could say this, but there was one person who saw something creepy on a show like this a while back. And she's like, I pay I no don't... attention to the stuff behind the curtain behind Adrian. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I remember there was this one comment I remember seeing from a show a while back, you know, someone doing creepy on it, like something creepy like this on a show. And the reaction, the comment I remember seeing, and I wish I got the same comment was, I just don't know what that is. I just hate it. <laughs> you look animated. I really do. Yeah. You this look animated. That, that is cool. <laughs> I actually like that. That's hey, awesome. what's up, little fella? Hey. Get some more. My nine, my nine year old. Meow, 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 meow. And we're going to show their pets again so we can all say hello. <laughs> I don't have any pets. My cat, I think, already left the closet. So look at uh, those fangs. I can't get her. Yeah. Oh my goodness! It's like a vampire cat. He really it, is. It is. It is. Look at that. They, they, when when I got to the house, they were telling me about that cat. It, it was outside, so I hadn't seen it. And they were telling me about that cat and, and his fangs, and I was having a hard time believing it. And then when when she finally coasted into the house. Um, she pulled up the lip to let me see it. I'm like, holy cow, you guys were not exaggerating at all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, the red blue can't talk. Um, <laughs> his name is Pandora, right? Uh, uh, you're shedding, baby. <laughs> you. His name is Pandora, right? Phoenix. Phoenix, okay. I was I don't know why I'm thinking Pandora. That might be Holly's cat. Her and I got a black cat at the same time. We were both trying to tame it at the same time. That could be it. Oh, she she had a hell of a time getting that cat to accept her too. Yeah. Now this one lay down in front of the couch on me and just look at me till I rub its belly. Yeah. And then he wouldn't eat for the last two days because I got him the wrong kind of cat food. Who knew a stray had a, a type, but he does. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey. We we all eventually get our type at some point. This little sucker's really spoiled. And we don't keep him in the house very long. <laughs> I like how everyone's asking about it. Okay, so Jill, I said this earlier, but my closet has become my secondary sleep. That's my cat's sleeping quarter. She likes sleeping in my closet a lot. You, you must have something in there that is totally comfortable with. It's it's. She likes to sleep on the top, uh, the top shelf, and there's all these sweaters on her, so she likes this. But she's also there again because she was hiding from my sister's dog. She doesn't like the dog. Get gets on the top yeah. shelf. The top shelf, like up high, away from animals. Yep. I can have her. No, Brad, please, no. I, wait, what did she say? <laughs> I get my kid this weekend and have her make a special eye patch. Lots Brad, of Brad, please do. <laughs> I will send it to him. Uh, uh, well, the thing is, I'm going to be meeting up with Brad um, here in the next couple weeks. There you go. Brad, do it. Yeah. Uh, Joe asked. What color is he? Damn it, Eileen. I'm going to have to talk to her later. She sent me a damn picture of cockroaches. <laughs> <laughs> I'm deleting that right now. <laughs> oh, spe speaking of which, Brad, all, all those pictures that you were doing last week, did you ever do one with a cockroach behind oh. you? Oh, no. Yeah, you, yeah, you did. Remember? He did, did a he? picture. Yeah, he did. He sent he sent us a whole bunch of pictures. 
uh, yeah, he, yeah. I think but I still the have one, that picture. The one that, the one that he really did good on was the one with Jason in the background. <laughs> <laughs> because, because remember, I, I was just, I was having I was having that vision because of the way that he peered out of the the darkness behind Rosie. I was like, oh, man, that's perfect. We need to get a screenshot of that and put that on your picture. And sure enough, Brad went right to it. <laughs> I'm actually going right now to Brad's chat box so I can see and find that picture. Because I yeah. showed it to you. I showed it to you at one point, Jeremy. <laughs> you you uh, probably did. Nick, do you have any idea how busy I've been this week? Uh, yeah, I know you've been busy. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, I showed it to you when we did the uh, live panel paranormal investigation on Saturday. Hi, Cody. Thanks for joining us. Oh, good to see you, Cody. Yeah, a member of TAPS. Wasn't me this time. What well, wasn't you that time? <laughs> <laughs> Jill, uh, Jill said, Adrian, what was your favorite animal or pet you've had? Oh man, she's gonna have to really think about that one. It has to be either the skunk or oh my god, Adrian. <laughs> oh you like that up close? Isn't it cute? No. It's either the skunk or the raccoon, but the tiger I knew would never be my pet. So I got to keep it as long as it wasn't rough, which was just a few weeks. Because they get big and they get very rough playing. <laughs> was it was just it skunk? <laughs> yes, you know, actually, it was. It was my up dad. Show, this my show, dad. I didn't know such a thing was even possible. Mm -hmm. it, it's a lot like the ferrets. They take their stink glands out before they'll put them in a pet shop. Same thing. <laughs> yep. Hi, Cap. Oh, uh, picture Brad sent me. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, the, the one about the cockroach. Okay, yeah. All right, so I got it right here. So for those of you that have not seen it, this was uh what Brad sent me uh on Saturday. Ferrets would be awesome to have. Ferrets would be. You guys can see that, right? <laughs> yeah. No. You can't see it, Adrian. Uh. Uh. All I say is you. Yeah, there's a cockroach right here. Okay, it's just tiny. Okay. <laughs> it looks like you were nice and friendly with it. No, I wasn't. <laughs> uh, oh, wait. I've seen the skunk ape on Fort Island Trail and Crystal Really? <clears throat> That's so, awesome, Joshua. So for those of you who don't know, um, Mr. Brad here, he, he's got this he's got this group on Facebook called Crack Skull Paranormal. He he makes equipment. Um, I didn't know so that. Go, yeah, so go check him out. I'm actually going to be meeting up with him in the next couple of weeks um, to get a piece of equipment from him before I head out to Salamanca. Does does he have a website or anything? Um. Brad, can you answer that? I don't know if he does have a website or not, but but I do know he he has that Facebook page. If not, I'd like to see you know what you make and what what you do. Yeah, the one that he's working on right now looks really cool. It's got um, temperature sensors on the outside. Um, it's like REM pod, but but the way that this REM pod is going to work is that. If something touches it on one side, it'll only light up on that side. Okay. It looks pretty cool. Haunted doll to show us? <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy, she's asking if you got a haunted doll to show. Oh, geez. And we already know who that is. <laughs> okay. I'll be right back. <laughs> I don't know what this means, but Josh, have fun in South America. Who's going to South America? I don't know. I didn't see anything about anybody going down to South America at all. I would I love to go back, but I, I don't I know on it right now. I've never been to South America. <laughs> I know, I know people. Okay, Jill. Here's Lucy. Here you go. 
Yeah. Now, keep in mind, it's not a haunted doll. You know? But it it's does have a doll. It's just creepy looking. I may call it a paranormal doll because it does not look normal. No, no. Um, its history is not normal. Oh, no, it is not. Brad said he's still working on the website. Okay. Well, when you do, send it to me, please. I'd love to check out what you got. Josh, okay, now I understood what he meant by that because he was saying at one point, because Jeremy, okay. when he walked off, Josh said, have fun in South America. I thought he meant that I think there's a town in South America called Salamanca. No, it's not the one in South America. It's Salamanca, okay. New, Salamanca okay. New York. I'm going Jeremy. to Salamanca, New York. Yeah, he's coming out um, with me. We're going to uh, Wildwood yeah. Sanitarium. Okay, green for yes and red for no. Okay. Marriott, like that one girl did. You know uh, what? I am seeing. No, so Jill, much. I can pretty much guarantee you that that will not happen. I, I have seen so much. And the one I saw the other day, I all I did was just look at part of it, shut it off. Because she was marrying the pirate that um, Johnny Depp played. Uh, I saw that one. She was marrying a cardboard cutout. Yes, yes. Had a ring. Had a, it, it, I cannot believe somebody thought that this was okay and had it filmed and really thought that they were doing something okay. Like the world didn't think You've gone crazy. I don't know. <laughs> crazy is a nice word. Yes, there was one that married a zombie doll. Yes, I did see that one too, Jill. I did. Okay, see I haven't that. seen that one. I turned that shit off as fast as I could too, because this thing like it had blood here. Its face was down here, and like she was kissing it. Oh my God! Holding its hand, watching TV, talking about how it was so good to her. The hell? What, what are you? Of course, on? it's good to her. It ain't doing shit. What are you on? And do you <laughs> really need to see a psychiatrist? And please do. The 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 one that really got me was the woman that was marrying a ghost, a spirit. I think. I, oh, I know that story. Yep. She was marrying the ghost. And then later on said she was divorcing the ghost because she caught the ghost cheating on her. Jill, Explain no, that one to me. I'm not going to say it's a possession because I listened to the story. It's more of what I got out of it. <laughs> Josh. Nobody else will love me. I remember seeing that one too. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, Brad. <laughs> Only has eyes for Samara. <laughs> I, I no. I so someday I would like to get married, but to an actual living human being. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, tell me. No, never mind. Don't tell me. <laughs> I don't want to know the answer to this, but how in the living hell are they going to consummate that marriage? Oh, Samara has oh. eyes for Nick. I mean, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, because you got to remember, it, you don't, you don't, um, what, uh, damn it, I, I, the, the one, with, you don't pursue Samara. Samara pursues you. I got to get out of here then. <laughs> yeah. Get get that phone call. Seven days. <laughs> Seven days so I get married to her. Right, Jill. I don't even. Yeah, we'll, we'll call it that. Seven days till you get married. <laughs> okay. So I get it. I get it. There's there's transsexuals. There's pansexuals. There's whatever. I understand that they're humans. I get it. What the hell are you calling things that are inanimate? I mean, I, where do you draw the line on this shit? I'm too old for this. Where do you draw the line? You know, Jill, I have his phone number, so I can't do that. 
<laughs> I was going to say, he does have my phone number. <laughs> he, I, I'm going to wait until until Nick says at some point that he's going to watch the ring. And then I'm going to wait about four hours. I'm going to give him four hours to watch this movie. Uh, and then I'm going to call him. And when he answers, seven days. You know what? I should do like a live video of like actually. Because you know that. Um, wait. What, what did Jill just say? Nick changed, and, Jill, <laughs> Nick changed his number suddenly. Well, that won't matter. I can still call him on Messenger. <laughs> That's true. You can't oh, change your number for Messenger. I, I was going to say, I should, do like a, I should do like a live video like where I'm actually watching the video because you can actually watch the video itself on YouTube. Mm-hmm. Not the movie, the video that's shown in the film. So Joshua, can... seriously? I've seen that. Oh, oh, yes. Yeah, um, that's. Oh my what God! If we just brought oh. brought something up. I remember watching a show. I, I I forget I forget the name of the show, but but it's yeah. these weirdest things where this woman actually got turned on by roller coasters. Roller coasters? Are you serious? Yeah. Okay, so maybe she. Got I forgot all by about that until Joshua just said that. Okay, so maybe well. she got turned on by adrenaline. I could even. Partially comprehend that. A car? Well, you want to know, <laughs> well, if that's not enough, Adrian, I heard this actually. Jeremy, I heard this story from the three J's I told you about, Jay, Jason, and Joe. They yeah. did a, there was a recent article that they read about a man who has an actual attraction to tractors. And they said they felt like they, he actually said that he had, I don't know, he did probably like 500 tractors around the countryside in, in the UK. <laughs> He actually, hey, has, that, that goes along with the Chinese says with the Chinese yeah. Chesney song. She think my tractor is sexy. <laughs> okay, I, brought, I love that song. That, I get it. I love that, that song. Up. The tractor sexy because he's driving it, and he's making a living. I get it. I love that song. Okay, when did we start falling in love with inanimate objects? At what point was this okay? Where do we draw the line between humans, bestiality, and inanimate objects? Because the inanimate object is not going to cheat on you. (laughs) That's true. This world is not. I'm too old for this shit. You know, Uh, it's not. Admit it. It is not the same world we grew up in. No, No, it's not. It's not. Yeah. Um, But you know what? How about it? Go for it. I mean, there's like when the, when these guys brought up about this whole thing. I mean, one one of the guys actually works for like a repair shop, like up in Wisconsin, and he, he deals with a lot of tractors and stuff. And he's like, next time he sees someone who brings a tractor up, he's just gonna kind of laugh, like, "Oh, well, why did the part fail? Man, did you, how did the part broke? <laughs> what do you need the old part for?" <laughs> okay, number one, I have no problem with somebody with inanimate objects. I don't care. <laughs> I don't want to see it. I don't want to know about it. You do your own shit. Whatever. Exactly. Yeah. With animals, I have an issue. Yeah, I'll, me too. Um, where, people here where is this back. line drawn anymore? Where? Did your people get people buried with their buried car? With their what? I've never heard that before. Okay. Now, I, I will say this. I have heard, um, Nick, you might know this better than I do, but I think it's ancient Egypt where the pharaohs or people in power back then, when they die and get buried, they would actually have their animals euthanized so that their animals can be buried with them. I can even understand that. Yeah, I, I, I mean, heard I of something. I can for I a whole lot of stuff. But I can see both sides of a lot of things. There's some things I'm just not. I refuse to. I'm not going to. And no, no. Yeah, uh, German to answer that. I mean, yeah, I've heard of stuff like that. I, it's not yeah. only just like in Egyptian culture, it's like that it. for it's like that for a few other cultures. So there's, it's similar, but it kind of be, remains the same in a way. Thank you, Brad. Yeah. I'm gonna check oh, out gosh. your stuff. Kill someone who hurts you. Yes, exactly. Children and animals don't have a say. What? Yep. They didn't ask you to do that. 
I no, no. You want to screw your car? You want to marry? Have fun. You you want to screw your vacuum cleaner? Great. It, you're not hurting anything. When you go to living things, yeah, there's that's a different that's a different story. Vacuum clean, it's funny you mentioned that because um, I I recently just got done watching the entire scary movie film film series, the the scary movie parodies, and one of the main characters in the first movie. Um, did just that with a vacuum cleaner. Okay. He actually took that type of scenario and threw it into the movie. Well, Brad just sent me an image and it says attachment one on it. I'm not opening it because <laughs> I don't know if it's a cockroach or if it's something involving tractors or cars or something. Just open it. You got to at some point, your curiosity will get the best of you. Yep. <laughs> That's <laughs> yep. <clears throat> oh my God! What the hell is that? And it's not a cockroach. Well, the good. That that's a good thing, right? What in the I, hell? Is yeah, this but his reaction is saying something different. <laughs> yeah, and I'm not so scared this time. <laughs> I I got nothing. I got it's. I don't know if this is a cake or what, but it's literally like a dog. Oh, yeah. Here, he just sent it to me. Sent a picture of the new paint job on the wolfskin rent. Oh, the rent box. Okay, okay. Okay. Oh. Actually, I, I, <laughs> okay. Oh, Pascal. Sucks in my car. I don't have now, a driver's license. It's illegal. <laughs> now, a disclaimer for, for just in case, you know, we are not bashing anybody who's a transsexual or no, anything like that. that. That's human. I have no yeah. yep. issue with human. I have issue with animal. Yes. And it is illegal, too. In some states, yep. hell, where do we draw the line anymore? I think some states have dropped that shit. Yeah. You know what you want. Well, the guy, like I said before about this guy who got, you know, got involved with tractors, they supposedly said he got banned from the countryside from doing it. Oh, my it. God. What the hell is this? I, I think oh, it's Pop. Brad, is that the one that you just painted the other day? Wow. I, I remember I remember Brad showing pictures where he did a before and after um shots of him painting this skull. And I wonder if that's if that's what he's talking about. That might be. Um, I, I, okay. At my age, you're, you're going to find out there's not much I haven't done in my life. I have nothing to hide. I don't give a shit. I'll tell you. But some of this stuff going on these, are you kidding me? No, I, I, I don't think there's ever a point in life that you marry an inanimate object and think, hey, this is cool. What? Yeah, I that angel. But damn, I I do look at that and, and I'm thinking, you know, I'll be the first one to say that ain't right. It's not right. I mean, it's I don't funny. Care who wants to be male, female. I don't care what they want to change to, and I don't care who they want to have sex with. It's human. That's all I care. Yeah. We start going to animals and inanimate objects. What the hell? This is not my world anymore. That's not well, mine the, either. The, the, the animals, I mean, that that's hurting the animals practically. Um, I hope the hell one of these times those animals hurt. How many women have died with the, what do they call that, the donkey show in Mexico? Oh, God. Good. I don't even know. What the hell you think you're doing? I don't think I even want to know what that is. Oh, it's. Yeah. They get a lot of money for one night is what happens. Oh, dead. oh my God. They don't need That's enough time to spend it. Uh, okay. Got a Twitch comment here. Yeah, we do. Um, we are actually a paranormal show. We're called Supernatural Talk, and we talk about anything and everything. Um, I'm Adrian. That's Jeremy. We, That's Nick. Yeah, what Nick is the um, animated. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
I just uh, posted a picture. Investigators, on. we're uh, psychic mediums, um, impasse. That's who we are. Yeah. And you, you just happen to catch us talking about something that's not exactly fair. <laughs> oh, Melissa says you're looking handsome as usual. No, oh, thank you. I agree, Melissa. He is. Uh, because an alien, he's like, you're right. Like a horse yeah. using it for pay. Yeah, I, 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 I'm not understand. I, I don't. I, I don't even try to understand that. It keeps people out of the gene pool. Yeah, like just, that is one good thing about it. Even things of the bum and whatnot. Uh, uh, we do, yeah, we did do a thing with the hats, all four of us. Uh, we do have a fourth, um, whoever Wu Flower is, we do have a fourth host for the show, but she had to step out. Um, but all four of us got hats. I don't even know why I'm <laughs> waiting. I was going to say, I'm surprised you still have that. I, I never really, I put it on and then I forget about it. You know, it's like, it's like, it's like that guy that's going around the house looking for his glasses only to find that it's on his head. I walk around looking for my phone while I'm on it because I want to text while I'm on a call. No, Brad, I don't like cockroaches. I hate them. Okay, that, that is pretty bad, Adrian. <laughs> well, Adrian, you are right at the perfect spot where you're sitting right now and you got that cloud there in the background right above your head. Yeah. Yeah, I'm an angel. And woo, and woo flower like sunflowers. Yeah, we, we, we do talk about a, a lot of paranormal stuff, but sometimes, you know, with, with this show, sometimes we do like to, to cut <laughs> loose um, and just just shoot the shit with each other. Yeah. No, Jake, yeah. don't even bring that up. Yeah. Don't. Okay, I don't know how well you could see it right now. Um, I like sunflowers real well. Yeah. That's uh, I grew up in Kansas. That's the state flower. Yeah, I was going to say that's the that's the uh, state flower of Kansas. Yep. And and Kansas is one of our favorite states too for specific reasons. <laughs> oh, it's awesome! Kansas is awesome. And oh, not yeah. just and, and and before anyone says it, no, it's not because of cockroaches or anything like that. Before it was just about tornadoes that I love, but now there's a few other things I love about Kansas. Yeah, for for me, it is all about that temple. If anybody knows what that is, go ahead and type it in there. I don't think anybody will. <laughs> I know. Uh, I know. Let's, let's talk I'm about Iraq. Because <laughs> I remember talk. you sending me the picture right after you got it. No. Let's talk about arachnophobia and it movies and the. <laughs> yeah, I was in the great car last night. My walkie-talkies went off on oh. Twitter. Like, Ooh, can you guys? That sounds fun. Uh, you have one. I, <laughs> um, Pascal, actually, I, I, I do have the other eye, um, and, and I can see just fine out of it. But because because of an accident that I had back in December, I've got double vision really bad. So I put the patch over this eye so I can be able to keep my balance. Thank you, Jill. Um, and and I do use the eye for investigation sometimes as an experiment because with, with the with me wearing this eye patch all day long it just opens everything up. So at night when I shut all the lights off in the house and now it's like everything is pitch black. I can move the eye patch over to the other eye and I can see everything clear. And, and you I can, can see in tombs in the dark. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's pretty wild. Um, I did that. I discovered that by accident just when I was around the house. And I decided to try to test it out on an investigation. And I did it at the Crown Point Jail, which to me is like home. Um, and I and I know that place like the back of my hand, and I felt safe doing it there. That was the first place I went to after I investigated after the accident, and I chose it specifically for that um, because I felt safe there. That was cool. And I did the the eye experiment there, and oh my! <laughs> yeah. I I had Clarissa with me on the first 
on the first test. And where we were sitting at, we, we had a brick wall behind us. And when you go in there, you cannot see the brick wall, even though it's right next to you. But when I switched the eye patch over to the other eye, I could see every individual brick. Uh, Jill, have you ever tried like the Estes method? Have you ever done that? That's like one of my favorite things to do. Police dog been my right side of my face. My eye was hanging. Oh, geez. My eye was hanging out. My face was flipped over. I got the best surgery ever by a Korean surgeon. Oh, wow. oh my goodness. Um, I'm at, I'm actually going my, my next surgery is that's going to be uh, another reconstruction surgery for my face. So and, and it's not going to be for a few months yet um, because of scheduling. But we're going to completely reshape this side of my face to make it symmetrical with this side. Yes, Jill, uh, it is. It's where you take um, usually gaming headphones and put them on and they're hooked to an S box or any kind of a, just white noise. I, I like just white noise. I don't like it scanning. I want it just white noise. Oh, wow. And then you put the headphones on and somebody walks oh. way away and asks questions and whatever you hear come through there, you just say it and it's recorded. So, you know, you, you kind of, you don't know what somebody said. So whatever you're answering, it either makes sense or it doesn't. And what's really interesting is when you're doing a double blind. Um, yeah. This method. Um, that was really, really interesting. They give you a tetanus shot. Oh, gosh. Melissa, damn. So I got one and went into seizures. Jeez. Uh, You've been through some shit. Yeah. Yeah. You all tried that method? Yes, I Brad, have. If you're still on, I just saw your picture. That looks really cool. Oh, the same picture. I, it might be the same one that he sent me. The wolf head? Yeah, right? That's awesome. That, that looks really, really cool. I, I actually thought it was like I actually thought it was like a, a cake at first on a plate because that's how it looked at first. You know what? Some of these cakes that they that they come out with now, they look so realistic. Right. Because I because I remember um, seeing this collage of videos where it looks like a, a little baby bulldog, and then all of a sudden somebody's getting ready to cut it. I'm like, what? And then all of a sudden it, it's a cake. <laughs> you have got to be kidding. They make these things look so real. I know of one video, and I'm not trying to sound graphic or anything. There was This was like many years ago. There was a picture of what looked like, it looks like a living, like living, sleeping baby, and there's a knife, and it's coming to that. And people are freaking out because, like, oh my god, they're about to cut this baby's head, and they cut oh, it through, man. and it's revealed to be nothing more than a cake. So, but it freaked. I saw it on some show, and everybody was like screaming because they thought, you know, he was about to cut the top of the head off of this baby when it was actually just a cake. A hey sleep, guys, a just, sleeping just cake. heads up. Um, Joshua is now in Facebook yeah. jail. I just brought that up. I saw that. Aww. Yeah. He he had made a comment. Uh, I did not see it here unless it took it away right away. Um, that he said that if anybody hurts animals or kids, he would kill them, which is a natural response of anybody. Yeah. And that that word, yeah. I said the words kick somebody's, you know what, and I got. I got banned. Yeah. Oh. Well, he's now in Facebook jail for six days, so we're not going to be able to see him for a week now. Brad, that is an awesome cake. I want to get a full dead body cake made for Halloween. That's a cool idea. The only problem is, I mean, can you imagine how expensive those are to get those made? Yeah, that's a big cake. That is a big one. I not mean, really. you're talking. I daughter that does that. You what? Yeah. I got a daughter that decorates cakes. Well, she might be able to help with Melissa then. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there you yeah. go. Oh, no. Yeah, I just got out of Facebook too recently and sucked for so, so long. It you know, does. I, it, it's ridiculous anymore. You know, I am surprised I haven't gotten in Facebook jail yet. Uh, it hasn't happened to me. You know what? 
I have commented multiple times on people's posts when they were they're complaining about Facebook having done this, having done that. I have commented multiple times these specific words. Facebook is stupid and its workers are idiots. Yeah, they are. I don't get flagged once. Hey, Hi, Joe. Joe. I have not gotten flagged. Yeah, I have you gotten flagged. That has happened. I get invited into their secret group. <laughs> oh, really? You know, I am bad mouthing them. I was just using movie quotes. And <laughs> that's why pirates used to wear eye patches. So when it gets dark, they can move it over and have perfect night vision. Why not? Exactly. Yep. That was the reason they started wearing eye patches. Oh, don't forget. Yeah, okay. That's not a no one. Okay. It's not a cake. That's the REM pod. I was I, I was just saying I thought it was a cake. Okay. Okay. You know, I do that all the time, too. Thanks, Melissa. All right, guys. I got to get off here. I got to be at work in the morning. So, yeah, we've been on. Damn. Almost, almost three, three hours. hours and, and we really do need to get off because uh, according to the schedule there is a show coming on in 20 minutes on skeleton key um so we'll have to get off um but don't forget uh nick and i will be back tomorrow night uh same time same channel (laughs) most of the same channel uh 13th dimension won't be on skeleton key or the temple of phoenix um because we have all of the things network and 13th dimension channels so stay tuned for that tomorrow night at the same time. And we will be interviewing Natalie Mosley and talking yeah. about tarot readings and horses and, and all kinds of fun stuff. So that, that's going to be a good show. Melissa, uh, it's going to be 7 o'clock CST and 8 p.m. EST because she's in yeah. Canada. Okay. Okay. And then um, – Adrian also has her own show on Monday nights with Jan, which is now started in seven mountain time. Yeah, we're Friday. gonna start seven mountain time because the ref's gonna come on at six and we'll go to eight. Our show is uh pretty much just talking about life, family. It's not so much paranormal. We're both light workers, but we incorporate that, but still it's about life and how we handle mm-hmm. it. And it's a really good show, so you guys are going to enjoy that. And then yeah. make his own show on Wednesday nights, where he basically gives us all a lecture. Thank you, Brad. Hey. Y'all have a good night. Thank you for joining us. We love y'all. Yeah, thank you guys so yep. much. Um, and it's, it's been a great night. <laughs> hey, feel free to talk to us anytime you want to. We're yes. We're not just on a show. We're really here. All right, you guys have a good night. Thank you so much. Have a good night. Bye, y'all.